A very good evening to you. Welcome to Obina Show Live. This is the show where we get to call all inspirational guests so that we can inspire you, we can challenge you, and also we can get to motivate you. We are live from Miale 72 Lounge in Lavington. Of course, the best place to be. Ambiance is friendly, privacy guaranteed, free parking space. There's a car wash on site, and the food that is served here, beautiful. Pass by here, you get to thank me later. That's Miale 72 Lounge in and loving tone. The guest that I'm hosting today is an old time friend of mine. I've known this guy for a while. Right now, he's the number one rated, celebrated celebrity musician and also a father. The one and only the OG, Calligraph Jones. What's up, brother? Baba Yao. <laughs> they daddy. <laughs> I have very many names. But, yeah. Uh... I'd rather you just refer to me as OG. OG. Uh, OG is what I go by nowadays. You know you're the goat, bro. Uh, no, no, I'm not the goat. The goat is uh, Nyashinsky. Yeah. I mean, OG to me, Stucky title. Nyashinsky is the goat. Yeah. Uh, king Kaka might be the king. <laughs> but Omolo is... Omolo, is that Omolo? Uh, Omolo is just Omolo. He's the OG. OG. Yeah, I don't want any titles. Yeah. I mean, OG too. Okay. Yeah. All right. The OG is in the building. Mm-hmm. Where are you guys? Kukupata siningumu? Shibuli is not mob. Last week, nini fanyikia sauti? I had shows back to back. I was performing. And uh, unfortunately, I lost my voice. And I wanted to come to, but of course, you know, Jua Kitu Moja na Mimi, I'm a perfectionist. I want to give you a legit interview. And I didn't want to come with a voice that I didn't get make the cut, so... Okay. Unfortunately, I couldn't come. But I'm here today. We're here now. You yeah. know what it is? Let's get it. Let's get it. That's what's up. Karibu mm. sana. Thank you for honoring the invite. Mm -hmm. You could have said no. You could have said, you know, need to go to the <laughs> stew. But I'm going to studio stew. You should get a good stew. Yeah. But you can. After I came to because it was you, man. You know, Because you go way back, just like you said. Yeah. I've known you for the longest time. And uh, I had to pull up. But... I've been trying to avoid, you know, like interviews because they be asking me, uh, you know, the questions that mostly are asked of those interviews. If you do, if you do any boy, and so, and so at. Okay. We see Kasirike breathing. Okay. So Maswali Gari ni siu lize leo. Juni lona interview ni nolif. Kuzi interview avi baya sana. Ah, nolif. Labda ni nolisa mambo mambo. I feel like I've paid my dues as far as being an artist goes. I've, yeah. I've done my my thing, you know. Yeah. And I have so much uh, content and there's so much substance you can extract from calligraph. Yeah. Other than uh, cheap scandals. Uh, Sasa. All right. Mm. So speaking of uh, substance and doing big things, mm. bro, you are jammed. So... Currently, I'm listening to Invisible Currency, mm. and you've done justice. Bro, there are some songs there that sound black American, for lack of a better word. <laughs> <laughs> From the sound mm. to, to, the, to the verses to everything, I was just like, yo, who's this guy? I felt like I didn't know you because, you know, most people know mm. uh, Champes, yeah. uh, da, 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 da. But when someone listens to that album, they're like, yo. Because this album, album do not chance yaku yaku G Express. For me, I feel like um, I mean, I'd, I'd probably put out singles, you know, club yeah. uh, bangers, born and those type of songs. But if you really want to know who the OG is, listen to my albums because on my albums now, I give you that real shit. Sorry, I give you that real. <laughs> No, it's, it's Obina TV. Uh, Feel free, bro. I give you that real shit. When That's what's up. It's Obina so if you TV. listen to the albums, <laughs> and you know, get to know who the OG is from very many, you know, very many aspects and, and different perspectives. Yeah. Yeah. That whole album, mm. which project was the hardest to do? The most challenging, probably. Um, I mean, Onajua, first of all, Nani wana ongea hapo? Nyamaza. <laughs> First of all, the thing with the uh, with the with the album 
what was the question again? I read the man in the Yeah, in that um, old album, which one was very, which jam was challenging? Uh, the project yeah, that the, was very uh, challenging. <coughs> your album, uh, which song, man? Because I put out a, a bunch of dope songs. Yeah. But I, I like to think that when I put out my albums, people don't understand them immediately. It takes time. Because even before I respond to your to your question, the features that are on the album are next level features. You know, yeah. You probably didn't know I have a song with Wood Boy on the album. Before you listen to the album and it's an R and B track, uh professional world class level. You probably didn't you are talking about Dax just I, right. I didn't know before I, mm. I, I listened to the album I was like Dax is here. No, no. Yeah. Uh amongst other names, you know. No. But I mean every song every song that I that I that I write, every song that I put down, every song that I record is special in its own way. So I wouldn't say that there is a specific song that gave me the hardest time. Yeah, okay. Because every song equals special in its, you know, own way. Yeah. So all the songs are equally um you know, executed, yeah, to the to the maximum of my abilities because I give I try to give my best in every project that I work on. Yeah. Yeah. Why Vince on the beat? I work with Vince because he's a uh, first of um aside from the fact that he's talented, I gonna roll safi. For me, uh, character is everything. I I've had, you know, instances where I've been placed in, in, in rooms with some of the biggest, I don't know, producers. But uh cut to vibe but to vibe. Yeah. For Vince, it was different because Vince to live vibe Nayan and he live vibe na Vince. You know, I discovered Vince when he was still in Kisi. Okay. Vince alikuja, alikuja when he came to Nairobi, akakuja kwa studio yangu, kakana ya po kidogo, jama kanza kuji build, akanza kulan mziki, you know, the right way. Yeah. Uh, and your vibe really connects. I was like, yeah, this is uh, the individual that I'd want to, you know, mostly have him dominate my. Most of the songs on the album, when I do, yeah, yeah, raw stuff, yeah, gonna raw stuff, because I'm fit. The chilled sign. guy, yeah. And most people don't know that you're also a producer. Yeah, <laughs> I'm seeing you in the studio trying to create a couple of things. How's that coming? I record all, all the songs on my album. Yeah. I'm the one who recorded them. And Vince probably sometimes and I could just a beat maker, you know? Yeah. But I learned during COVID, of course, you know, we had to learn new tricks, and I and I found out that. Production was the way to go because you want to try to avoid mambo mingi. Mimi me nyena juwa sound yangu na taka ikaya. Jesus ingine, as much as tu nelewa na na producer, kuna kitu labda, ya na za ju, mi na za taka na ya elewi. Yeah. So, ni liland production. So, all the songs, all the songs that are even released, even up to date right now. Ni mimi do ni me nini, ni me panya, ni me record, ni me produce. Um... Uh, but on the album, of course, you know, you got to bring in, uh, you know, guys who understand that from, when I understand you, you do professionally. So one, one of my producers named RS66, I yeah. also want to mention that guy because he put me on and Pierre and Alifanya engineering of the album. Yeah. So, yeah, but me, 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 producer, Jumina Juani Nini, Nataka. Do you now know how to make beats? Beats, uh, to some extent, yes, but uh, but I like giving directions. I'm like, oh. uh, I have concepts in my head, and and Vince knows how to work the keys, so you just give him an idea, like, yo, let's 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 try this, let's do this, and eventually you get what you guys are looking for. So oh. that's how we basically work. Yeah. You being the OG mm -hmm. that we know now, mm -hmm. is there anybody who has ever told you no? You being the OG, like for example, a collabo. Mm. Yeah, kuna, kuna, uh, the, the one thing I learned about this thing that we do, that lower your expectations on a jua. Yeah. Don't think you're uh, So expectation yako chini. Yeah. There are people that I've tried to reach out to uh for, you know, the intention of having them on my songs and they're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But not not locally though. Locally uh, and locally there is one guy that I'm not gonna mention. Yeah. Mm, but uh, what was the reason he gave or she gave? Uh Alini Boat and Penangium Kesa and Kambia Kwanda Nauko. 
But uh, yeah, outside the country, man, of course, I tell you this, you see all these big rappers from um, the States, wakifungwa DM zao lazima watapata DM ya calligraphy kwa hapo hiyo chini. Pia mimi na approach like an upcoming artist. Yeah. And I humble eh, and I'm hey, my name is Calligraph, I'm a rapper from Kenya. If you guys, you guys, you know, you got we love you out here in the motherland. My guys, my community is asking if there's a possibility we could work together, you know. Lazima pia una jeje because they don't know who you are. Yeah. Maybe, Maybe they man. know, but Maybe you always they go do, like and probably yeah. when you send the message of course ile una ni cut in it wakata si. Yeah. And some they go and they look you up. And it's, it's the same situation that happened with uh, even Dax. Because I, I hit up Dax on Instagram like, yeah, what up, brother, man? I've been seeing your material, and I think we can make magic together. And he reached out. He was like, yeah, man, I've been seeing your shit. Yo. And, uh, yeah, and we, we, we made it happen. We made it work. Yeah, and that's just how nice. it is. So go kwa DM ya Luda Chris Mbaya. Eh Luda Chris ilimwe kianga meso time flani na ndanga na sasa ngine anataka si delete alafu tena na 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 copy una understand alafu na send friend ile sio hizo kitu cause let me tell you something um as far as uh, rapping goes yeah kama ni ku rap tu mimi na kuanga mnoma hiyo najua and I I, sure. um, I I won't exp- I don't I, I won't wait for you to tell me that calligraph you're very talented kama ni kama ni ku rap bro mi u rap unajua na najua anga ile wakati atafungua tu labda click hivi aone there is no way atasema ata atakata eh na wengine pia wanaitisha do but this is my collaboration buda za majua tu nakwambia you go and work with a uh, tiger nini these guys probably charge like um 50000 USD 150000 if you trying to get a verse from who um Chris Brown talipa yeah. 250000 unaona so utapata wase wa Nigeria wako na wako na wako na resources unaona yeah. there are guys who are ready to sponsor them when they they they're in pursuit of uh, international collaborations ukiwa hapa Kenya mabazu buda ubina nyindo mko na pesa na mimi nikuja nikwambia ni aje na nia minitisha 1.5 million kenyan shillings ujibu message bwana na nyindo mko na dono ya nyindo mabazu unaona pesa yetu sia ku invest kwa mziki <laughs> so that, that that's that there you go yeah. there you go now for and that's why that's a, a reason why i feel like sometimes we i wouldn't say we're in a bad place you know the kenyan music industry but uh kuna lack to uh, resources zingine and the support from the eh, guys support who can. from the eh, man, the guys from the where man ze mabazi wale wanaona hivi hizi ma video wekeleni pesa kwa wasanii usiogope chukua 2 million 5 million 10 million uh, kwa watu serious and i guarantee you this you're going to see results you're going to see results because mtu serious unajua mtu serious msani serious utamuona yeah msani joker mwenye ako na kierere na kuna kitu anafanya pia utamuona Okay, I'm too serious and uh, you ready to work with the guy I man put money down and 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 you're going to see results. Who is that one person that you really 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 wish to work with? Uh just one. You're like this one when I'll do it mama I made it. Uh my dad. My biggest inspiration when I was uh when I was growing up the music that i used to listen to uh or any of the music that i used to listen to i got two guys it was 50 and uh eminem wow. oh. yeah so katiao yani to those hey. are my biggest my people, uh, biggest all right but right now of course generation z will not uh relate to that because they 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 are mumble familiar, rap now uh, uh, the <laughs> the <laughs> babies the babies and yeah. nini But J Cole is also another name that is up yeah, there that uh, you know given the opportunity to work together man that would be a dream come true. Okay. Mm. Are you going to switch to mumble rap too? Even if I try to I can't do it because I I wasn't built like that. Unajua? Yeah. And uh mumble rap to some extent sometimes <coughs> times have changed, you know. Yeah. Uh, wakati wakati umebadilika so Yeah, we is equal hard on the mumble rappers because you know kit we even though you know rap me in the last so unaiona tu unasema ah 
as much as as in a bow, but it is what it is. Uh, you just uh, show them love and, and like, yeah, you keep on doing your thing. Yeah. All right. Mm. Good. So now we've spoken about the highlights mm. of the show. Now there's a youngin who's watching somewhere who's like, ah, okay, OG, unajua wetu mkujua kasa hizi, umesha make it to the OG. So I want us to take them way back. Mm. Let's start from the beginning. Yeah. Let's go to high school. Yeah. Primary, mm. where you're born, how you ended up in Kayole, because you represent 1960. Uh. So where, where are you from? How did you, okay? Okay. Okay. Asante, Baba. Hi. Oh, hey, you are asking me about... Yes, uh, so where were you born? Where is the OG from? How did you end up in Kayole? Uh, 12th June 1990, I was finally birthed. Your 12th June? Uh, 12th June I'm Six days ahead of you, my brother. <laughs> Sixth June, baby, 1990. There you go. So there I'm you your go. elder. Please, <laughs> pay respect. Elizaliwa, hapa hivi ni ni? Inaitwa ni... Ni buruburu ama ni... Jamaa home. Jamaa okay. home iko hapa hivi Sawi place lakini area buru na hapa hivi So let's Islando. Eh Islando yeah okay. 12 June 1990. Yeah. Uh nikaenda chuo inaitwa Primary ni top chuo inaitwa Imara Primary School okay. iko Kayole uh from 1997 to 2004 nikimaliza class 8 ilikuwa ni 2004 uh high school siku Sikufanya high school ni ilikuwa because of we had a, you know I I try to elaborate uh, you know that on a song on the album just talking about my life situations and why uh, my high school uh, you know background as far as education goes is not there because siku siku and high school son no no because I dropped out of school for the longest time and then afterwards I decided to go back at least ni pate the certificate yeah, certificate yani but i didn't uh high school siku nini sana but kuna chuo inaitwa bruce wood okay bruce wood iko kokoma ilikuwa kayole kokoma sasa hii eh okay hapo hivi ndo nilinini but pia kulikuwa na nyingine kuna inaitwa charity student but this ilikuwa zingine zilikuwa ni chuo za ploti charity student uh, <laughs> nini wasa so, waislamu wanajua chuo za ploti I've ni gani there, bro. yeah so <laughs> Race course, kuna race course, ni soma pia race course, yeah. Uh -huh. uh, so, uh, but Bruce Wood is the, the, the school that, uh, if I'm asked today, calligraph ni high school, ni Bruce Wood, yeah, ni I represent Bruce Wood, yeah. Yeah, okay. Kwa hapo lifanya high school, but mambe education ilishi, ya tusa sa hapo, yeah, ni. Okay. Siku pasu at the university, or afterwards, ama any sort of, but how do you know so much good English, bro? Like, you speak English, you rap English, guys are like, yo, mm. he grew up in the state. Kume ni oyole? Ni oyole, tu hata, English is just but a language that anybody can speak. Unajua, it's just a matter of mastering, you know, the words and, and, and grammar and, you know, things of that sort. And even my influence, uh, the things that, my, the music that I've been listening to ever since I was young, you know, for the longest time, even when I was coming up it, earlier on in my career, I used to have people bash. Even nowadays, people bash. Oh, we're any fake, ni 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 ni. But you can't blame a nigger, man. I that's just how I came up. My some of itabu influence to natan apia. You, I don't know. English is not a is not a shouldn't be used as a measure of, in, of intelligence. And I might know English, but that then I mean it down that too, yeah. And, you're talking to America, so you cannot draw on. Yeah, what up, brother, man? I see you out there in the barn, man. And they probably don't know nothing. No, no. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, but Nikuji Fun's a two language. I, I used I, the fact that I didn't, you know, like probably even perform well or go to um, pursue his own uh, education in Belembele to Angadizi University, Nini, whatever mm. the hell you call them. I managed to miss Kwam Jinga Chuo. Yeah, I, and even back in primary school, there are guys who are seeing me right now. They're like, we used to go with this guy to the, the same school. Go and ask them. They tell you about me. Me, me, bro, I've been A1 since day one. But yeah, why did you leave, though? Hmm? If you are doing well in school, why did you say, uh I could not their school fees. I could not their fees. He said to the Kwanini, a lot of times it is always um, assumed that people make assumptions when they see me like this. 
Like these guys from a well-off background. Your calligraphy and a danganyanga too. Nini nini. We didn't have shit, bro. Sorry, I'm gonna I'm just gonna no, give it cool. to you the way it's it cool. is. Yeah. We didn't have nothing. No no no. at some point we used to have it. You know, my dad was working. Uh, like we were clearing and forwarding. He had, he was balling. He was big guy. Nini big man thing. You know. And then uh, it, 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 it all falls down. It all crumbles down, and you lo lose everything. And now you have to start from scratch. Me, she saw it. Oh, well, that's on a view. So, eh? But not hang up with you. So, eh? When I pull a Babylon, Babi, what's on a new one? I know Babi. So, I talk about to can get a little one. A little one, like when I share, okay, a little one, talk about to can get stage. I'm a ash. Now, you need to talk about 2012. Yeah. Na nikitoka Kayole si ati nilienda place ni nilitoka Kayole nikienda Dandora Jumaisha ilikuwa mzidi kukuangumu zaidi you know nikitoka Kayole nikiingia Dandora Oh yeah din dani nikitoka by the time I was working with Akina Christoph we be happening in those songs I was living in Dandora eh yeah. nilikuwa ngapo ju mambo ilikuwa imekuwa pia hivi na mrama kidogo eh yeah, but uh, we here now man okay mm. so fast forward you do all these things how did you enter rap because now rap is what has made calligraph and that's what people know you from mm. how did you start your uh, rap or music career i started even when i was in uh, primary school because the first song i recorded was in uh, i think i talked about that on the album the song 2003 yeah i recorded my first song with a uh, hope kid yeah i had it on the chronicles uh, of jones, the jones chronicles yeah. uh, so uh my bro span kob guys for those who know him he's out there uh king of boost uh, call, um, sells a lot of cars bmws nowadays he's the one who influenced me to start doing music because he was a rapper still oh. Oh, no, no. so um sisi come from a very uh musical background oh, no, no. so your influence so rap competition i won exercise books um uh, geometrical <laughs> sets and, uh, uh, there you go man kofa set ya kofa set ya kofa ulikuwa ukipata ile ya the blue one what is it oxford oxford yo sasa wewe umeomoka unajua hata sasa zingine nikienda nga supermarket squeeze hata naweza nunua set za oxford tu mbili for no reason yani <laughs> mostly he was my biggest influence and uh even when i started out i mean he he directed me yeah and uh although he was doing gospel music at the time KOB ah, was doing gospel when i found out after some of the movies KOB eh we don't stop yo i'm like ah. KOB no KOB do ali fanya all the you can unajua J blessing yeah uh DK when you beat hope kid and um a bunch of just ask them nani ndo alikuwa ng influence ya because he's more of the trailblazer exactly yeah so you got to give him his flowers for that then how did you end up in uh, british council mr ngo to a professor niambia nga kuna kuna place flani huko hivi wasema na rap na mimi niko napenda ku rap sana so even when I nilikuwa under KOB na nilikuwa na rap na kina Hope Kid siko na rap enough kwa kina Hope Kid unajua naimba ngezo maimbo zao <laughs> na kina Hope Kid pia Hope Kid pia alikuwa mtu msafi hizo siku yani alikuwa anapenda na madai misa sikwanga unajua jamii kitambo see at I, I was in that at the most handsome guy unajua real talk man i used to have a big head kwa nitango mosh so hope kid was, uh, was out there like on a graffiti but you had a big head called the most kubwa like a lollipop your design to nitanga lollipop so kwa yara kati ya lollipop niko na hata ndo tu nikaacha kuimba na kina hope kid because kwa feel like ah ku class nyingine mimi mimi hapo yana jua yeah so professor kanambia jua place in it to a british council wapi ndo nikaenda mara ya kwanza huko nikapanda stage 
Walita, nani, there were guys who were freestyle battling on the stage and they asked if there's anybody in the crowd who had the, felt like they had the, the, the capacity to, to step Hold on it stage. Down. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. I was like, yeah, you, you OG. You know what to do? And I get on stage like this and I'm ripping everybody apart, bro. We did that and Ikaninido, um, <clears throat> the first battle, I also talked about it, I lost yeah. to a guy called uh, Gadimoja. Big shout out to Gadimoja. I don't know where he is nowadays, but he, um, having uh, uh, losing to Gadimoja was probably the best uh, lesson in Linipatia. Because after that battle, I never lost another battle. Yani, Yo, it was that bad. It was that personal. Yeah, because it was my first time on stage, and Miss J, Miss Zeona rap, and I just rap to Nishinda, and you know, your time, you made me new design. Because I'm like Kenya, man. I see people rapping, but I don't feel like anybody's on my level. No, you was a young guy, you kona ka ego kako, kona ka kierere. So, nani ali ni, when nani ali shinda ali ni humble. Then I had to go back to the drawing board, and I had to now re-strategize, you know, uh, uh, perfect the then craft. Then come back again. And I came back and I did my thing. So, if you turn down, what people can you know, can Buddha blaze. And I told you, there's a guy called Point Blank. Yeah, a, that, I that know is Point a guy Blank. I He's really respect fire. Yeah. because yendo ali ni ali embrace jinangu. He's the first guy I told. I mean, I talk calligraph. Calligraph Jones. I told him my name is Calligraph Jones. Calligraph Jones, you know the way he speaks? Like, yeah, 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 point black. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Calligraph Jones. Yeah, yeah, so I can embrace as Calligraph Jones. He's also but, a very clean hearted guy. Point black. Yeah. So, even when I was in the house, 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 I was in yeah. You want to turn on that light? That's <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, Nike Nike money. Uh -huh. uh -huh. You can end up too evil. Too, we met with uh, ecstatic, a guy called Ace. Um, Giganji sniper oxide on a jewel. Hey, yeah, you had British. Eh, man, yeah. oxide. We uh, yeah. we had um, ever ready. Nataka kwa jawa. Hey, ever ready. Snarl. Eh, Snarl. Eh, ever ready. Eh, MC Snarl. Yendo ni lipanda yeah. stage. Stage na ewa kwanza. Snarl ever ready. Yeah, there was ever ready. There was who else? Uh, Kevo K Force. Yeah. Kevo K Force. By the way, uh, this another Kalahari. Kalahari, the old Kina Morocco. You are there with the Kina Kitusiwa. Now we used to see them as gods. Those guys were like, yeah, like even Doobies. That yeah, time, Doobies was already huge, yo. Now, now Doobies, Doobies, I, I don't even put him on the same. Yeah I, yeah, I I can't even mention his name on the same sentence. And then I mention now, I say, because these are guys who are, who are on the same level, you know, but Doobies. Yeah. I go on his own, own level. No, no. Man, if we are putting goats, mm. doobies. Doobies is, doobies. doobies is probably... Uh, doobie, an, doobie. Doobie, it, doobie. It is not an unpopular opinion, but it is a... This is a... And people will probably beg to differ, but I'll give you facts straight out of the OGs. If there is a rapper when you talk about this country, 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 those doobies. Doobies. It was doobies. Now you can take, you can hate, you can do whatever, but those is facts. You take it to the bank. No, but the person who will dispute mm. that, uh, do they have common sense? Yo, doobies, you guy. Mm. Hey, doobies. There's a time, I told you, mm. I was at uh, this time, Wapi had, had been moved to Saracassi, Saracassi Dome. Dome. Yeah. Then doobies was performing. Mm. This guy came with a white shirt, mm -hmm. a baggy shirt, he had jeans, and then he had teams, clean teams. Mm. And then he had a tattoo of a microphone here. Mm. And then he had a bandana. And then he put his nini on the side like this. Mm, you get, I was looking at doobies down there. I'm just, those are I used to rap. Mm. I'm looking at doobies. I'm like, yo, God, when? <laughs> he got up there. He's like, <laughs> hey, hey, doobies, doobies is king, bro. Mm. Doobies is king. Uh -huh. So continue. The rap battles. Uh, rap battles. Um, I think in, now, in 2000 and... Uh, 2010. After the record, I hope it. Actually, I hope it record. I think it's 205. I think 203. I'm not so sure. But after you see record 10. So I was trying to get studios where I could record. Because Facebook is okay. 
Yeah. So una dare una try to get studios where you can record a demo. Unajua unaambia ngatua sawa ni rap mnoma aside from when they see you on stage at Wapi hakuna pa. Hakuna mali pengine. <laughs> so you word of mouth. Eh ni kuna wasi unatafuta mianzi ni acheni ni record demo. Au kwa na ngoma Reverb Nation? Reverb Nation ile ilikuwa ni probably 2011. Ah. Nikimaliza eh, 2010 hapo ndo nilianza kasa ku record after high school. So one guy uh, where I record my, recorded my first song and it was the takeover. Actually I tuli release then I tuli re-release Juzi. Yeah. And kisikia tayo ngoma sasa hivi ni bado kaka kuna mtu ana rap venye nilikuwa na rap kwa hiyo ngoma. Was a young guy. <laughs> Probably niandika takeover nikiwa high school unaona. Yo. So we I recorded that as my demo. Now your demo sasa nilikuwa na demo because mo, remember before unaambia mse and you just give me a chance to come and record at your studio. People like yeah you have to pay. I don't have money to pay. But when I recorded the demo not on a list kill level nilikuwa nayo na everybody wanted me to record at their studio. Come on as well. It is guy man. Come through, come through. Kaka kizungu pia nilikuwa napiga hiyo idha, hiyo idha unajua. Yeah, should I hate to get what will quench my thirst I could and reach it. I was sitting at the bench at first. Maybe I was not ready with an orderly flow. The position was rock steady but a lot of the shows don't pay up to the level I expect them to. But I'm a saint, I still just respect them dudes. Hiyo nilikuwa hiyo ni take over, unaona? And that is high school. That is high school, unaona? So excuse me, man, nikaanza ku record and um One guy embraced me one that's why he mentioned Arrest 66 Big Beats and uh yeah man the Apple Sound of the Kanzanga start to record ndo start to Kanzanga kuingia Reverb Nation yeah uh, but then kuna Arrest 66 na Jiganji RIP to Sniper Jiganji yeah. the real hip hop heads you know him yeah he and Ali put on wase wengi sana yeah so yeah that that's that yeah. then uh, there's a competition that you you nearly won mm you are going to represent Kenya mm. how did that go yeah, that was in 2009 and i did mc africa yeah now mc africa uh, when i was doing mc africa my mindset was um, i i just wanted to compete because i was a very competitive guy a healthy competition of course you know on stage i wanted to flex my lyrical capabilities and see if there's any guy who could be able to match that and nobody was matching that at that time so <laughs> So you get not even matching it now. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to say but it, it is what it, it is. is. It is what it is, no, bro. No. Yeah. So uh nika tuka try I tried it out first time. I didn't think I was even going to get to the finals. And I got to the finals, man, and I was going against point blank. But uh there are I, the restrictions that really go up because I was um it was in 2009. I think early 2000. I was barely, I was just about to uh squangana squangana passport they needed the passport because once you win then you get a chance to go and represent Kenya on a, that regional or international basis yeah. so they were taking you to South Africa and Botswana but i didn't have a passport i didn't even have a, an id man yeah. yeah because i was still in high school so um point blank ticket of course nobody could have done it better than point blank because he was on that level and Point Blank was also one of the guys many your time game consider as a mentor cuz he cuz he put me on on now yeah so that happened i didn't travel of which i think was also the best thing that ever happened to my career because if i did i don't know if i would be here today on on like this at the OG that i am so um, yeah that happened i didn't i didn't go but while ni patia si mwingine hapo ya my phone <laughs> yeah, see, see, yeah, at least you gotta call the haters yeah, and yeah, tell them yeah, yeah. hey hater yeah. <laughs> so the people that you see that are instrumental in your career mm. up to that point where you're going for the mm. mc africa yeah mc africa so there is uh your brother yeah, Span there's hope kid there's hope kid yeah uh now wapi there's point blank point blank buddha blaze yo buddha blaze yeah, major yeah. shout out we have to pay yeah, tribute yeah, of course, of course, buddha blaze man. is an amazing gatekeeper yes clean-hearted yeah, guy yeah. He has he shows support where there's talent. Yeah, Buddha yeah, Blaze will come does, tell you my G. He does. You yeah. told me about him paying you money. Bro Buddha Blaze and Lipa Ali ni lipa pesa kwa show 15,000 bob. Yeah. Your time. Who ni score ni my guza pesa ka hiyo? The guy gave me money like wanga in bundles like this. You know kwa zile ni zile 1,000 za kitambo. Yeah. I was fainted. <laughs> so Dovu. you performed? I performed and I left the venue. I went back home. I get a call the next Monday cuz usually used to happen on Saturdays. Yeah. Or Monday's like your calligraph. 
uh, your money is ready. Pull up. Come and get your <laughs> right, money. With our talks yeah, like that. You know, hey, come and get your money. <laughs> I'm like, money? What are you talking about? I have money? I was supposed to be paid for the gig. So I said, what is this? When I sent a message, I said, I'm going to a wrong message. Then I can call. So when I go, I can sign. I signed. And then he gave me cash to hold. 15,000, bro. Bro, I almost fainted, man. Miss Palma Guza Pesaka, yo. Nili Tembia Kutoka Sarakasi, Domadi, Pisikani Meshkili, and Fuko, Ivi. I was with Profes. Nani Nili Kona, Nani, 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 Mziki, Kona Pesa, Ivi. Nani, 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 Eh, brother, Scott, Nani, Guza, Thao, Tano, yo, Akati. Nani, 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 Cash money, 15 Gs. 15,000, man, ze. Shout out to both the Blaze, yo. Shout out to Blaze, man. What did you do with the money? Nili Patia Mathe. Timberland. Of course, drip, bro. Drip, my G, drip. You know me, I used to wear Timberland. Yeah, Timber was a thing. Yeah. By Timber, Nikajenga Pia Profes. All right. Mm. So, fast forward, this is happening, life is happening. So, when most people came to know you, mm. Spin Cycle is signing these two individuals. Yeah. You and Christopher have come from nowhere. Mm. This time, I'm doing a show in Nation FM. It's called The Home Run, Me, Brian, Cupid. Yeah. yeah. We are big. We are doing these club shows. So, we end up in a club in Westlands called Changes. Changes. Who's DJing? K-Trix. DJ K-Trix. K-Trix was there with, uh, uh, was it Mr. T? Mr. T, yeah. Yes. Team. And yeah. then they introduced, they're like, yo, we want to introduce these new boys in the block, da 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 we've signed them. Mm. Christopher and Calligraph. And then you guys talk Lezea. Christopher has his, his signature hairstyle, yeah. Mashore all over. Calligraph ume nuna hapo kando. Over Timbaland. Timbaland ume kasirikia watu. <laughs> Me, I'm like, who are those? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then you guys came and then you did a song with uh, Christoph. Yeah. Is was it We Be Happening? It was We yeah. Be Happening we be first. Happening, yeah. And then that song took everybody yo. We're like, mm. wait a minute. Mm. How did you guys end up to spin cycle and this setup? So actually we did We Be Happening before Spin Cycle. Yeah. Uh, we Be Happening was a song I recorded at Homeboys. One time I think Homeboys Alkwatakan sign. When I was coming in, so I record Mangoma Uko. So I'd recorded a bunch of songs, and We Be Happening was one of them. But after we record, um, it wasn't. Uh, I. Siku Imalizianga, Nilekanga verse one. Yeah. Na verse, verse two. So I can ipatianga demo. One time I was on Facebook, Nikinini, Vinika, and I was on Facebook, Kriston Baton, Namuaya. Actually, I accidentally clicked on, on his Nini. Yeah. And then I saw this guy had music. And I'm like, yeah, Nini. So he came and we met. And I told him about this song I have. Bado uh, yeah. haiku chorus. And I'm going to give Christoph his flowers because he's the one who came up with the chorus of the song. Yeah. And we, whether we go, we, we be, be happening. happening. We be happening. What? We be happy. Christoph Alika. Alikujaneona verse, verse 2. Yeah. Killed it. I always respect that guy so much because if I didn't meet that guy at that time, I don't even know how much he was going to be. He did. He played that, yeah. So, Christopher, we will be happy. We will be happy. These new kids on the block. And funny enough, Christopher, but Christopher was getting all the shine, though, because he was clean. And uh, <laughs> ladies... <laughs> My dem took him to Malawi and said, "Hey, this stuff name handy." I'm like, "Yeah, man, what the hell are you guys?" No, but it was true, bro. <laughs> it was true, man. The guy was only going to buy a manual, even if he said he got Timberland. Where Timberland? Are they your black? You come black, you come in. You better not. You go down door round on. Yeah. So I mean, aside, you used to look like a sidekick. Yeah, yeah. I used to pull up. So Christoph would be there. The only, the only reason why what we like one is any tolerate kid dog. What we want to tolerate. It's because I used to be too good. My <laughs> rapping was too good. So they tolerated yeah, was gonna the rap. Some, I was going to tolerate it. I was going to tolerate it. I was a superstar. I was a superstar. But yeah. he, he, I was going to talent. So I was going to accommodate. So he came to Ivo. We did Biashara afterwards yeah. with STL. And then he blew up. And then now Spin Cycle came. Catrix, I got to be a Nyaje, man. I have a label. There's a guy called Brasso Smalls. <coughs> Brasso Smalls was the manager. I mean, you guys, I want to put you on this label, Spin Cycle. I'm going to have you guys as my signees. 
and you finna take over the game. Mm -hmm. I am going to give you guys an allowance of, uh, I think, uh, 20,000 per month. Nilikuwa ni kwa ni because yote matasikuwa na making anything. Kwa na, hey, waki nipatia hii, manzi, at least na zandi pare. Kofiti. Na zandi ni, eh. So, that happened, and we started doing it. Kidogo, kidogo. But, but it didn't fly. I mean, it was, I think, peer growth, uh, from, from we be happening, growth yetu kakwa. It can't be growth. Because I was working, me, I was working. Yeah. And I work working with Christoph, of course, but at some point we could have to separate. I can't tell you to grind. You stuck to hip hop. Eh. Christoph went more club bangers eh. because eh. after that he went to Kina Dandia and the eh. rest. Madema, you were just. Madema go na mpenda so I think alikuwa lazima pia ngi a piece. Ape madema bitu anataka. Me na alikuwa taka tu ku rap yani ku anapenda ku ku rap tu na taka tu ku yani ku wa. Doing for passion and. Yeah, I was just passionate about it. And to lay, I think to lay out, while we were under the label, probably we outgrew the label. To lay out the label, and then yeah. I didn't, he probably I had no capacity to have under the label. So I said, ah, let's just go Let's see Atembe. I tried to find a video to do it. Yeah, but Patrick Sali, to Ross Safi Pia, yeah. still respect him up to date. Good guy. Um, to to, to, to have a be a shara. Um, to have a be a farmer. <laughs> Get rich is a serious farmer. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So there's a part that we had skipped up a kidogo. Mm. Numa, let me take you back kidogo too. Mm. Bouncer, you you were bouncer at some point. I was uh, I was bouncing uh, in um, from 2009 yeah. all the way to 2000 and... Um, Close to 2000, and Nikifanya will be happening. I was still a bouncer. Ah, and Nikifanya will be happening in the corner bounce. That song was that big. Now, when I talk to the rest of my family, I'm going to club. So, I'm going to go back to Danny. Now, I'm going to go to Mambo Nimingi. So, I'm going to go to Mamma. I'm going to go to Mamma. I'm going to go to Mamma. I used to work up with V Club Reminis. You can buy the Reminis. I'm going to go to Wilson Airport. Ilikuwa club yangine ya wasapere inakongo hapo hivyo yaani. Ya hapo ndo nilikuwa kana doing job kwa minis. Yo nilikuwa ni bezi yangu. And then ni Skylax kifunguli wangu wa sisi ndo tuli bounce pia hapo hivyo. So, but sasa mziki kanza, watu wakanza kako ni notice. Yeah, you are the, you are the guy who is me. Reveler. I know this bouncer. There you go. So, nika, ah. Ukasema hawa na choma. Nika nini, nika za kupata tu, kapata show yangu ya kwanza. I was paid 50,000 <laughs> out of the blues, you know, they're like, uh, they pick, hey, but then you had to z tech z tech They called me, told me, Kali, we want you to perform, Nini. I went out there and I had, uh, they called me, they called me, don't go to my mother, Christopher, they called me, like, we want you. So I went there, you can manage to perform. They can't do it, so I said, I said, I said, I said, Oh, you know who negotiate before? Bro, I didn't know how that thing used to work. You are his passion, bro. Let me come hold it down. Buddha, Jamal ali nitolea doing Guinness jai yona. Yo time, bado, maisha liko meni chapa, jikuwa ngani menanga di, so ni karudi tena kwa maadha ya ni manzi. Oh, man. Nikona langa kwa kitia maadha, you know, that's 2012, man. So, ay, Jamal ni nipatia 50,000. Ra! Bro, yo pesa liko mifura kwa mfuko hivi, yata, ali nipatia ni kengiza kwa mfuko, atasi kuambia kwanza mtu. Tuli maliza kuhima ni kenda mta. No, did you count there when he gave you? Ama ni kupata kwa kali ni patia fifty thousand ali ni sabi nipaka bro kama fifteen thousand ni liku meni fanya karibu ni fein sasa wona fifty thousand woko mochari ni lifika kwa how around kwa mother ni kwa nishi kwa mother ni kwa na langa kwa kiti apo kwa living room because it used to be a one bedroom house ni lika kwa kiti mbaka subiju mfuku wa saidi yangu ya jinsi ni inuka hizi ni meja fifty thousand always ya kalala mwashita hini nini nifanyika the next day ni metafta keja mazi ni kaingia kwa kabed sita Nika niliambia madhe? Niliambia madhe niliambia madhe niliambia madhe pia manze Of course because madhe has been my prayer warrior for the longest time Yeah, see your mama close So nika Bedsita, funnish Bedsita hiyo nimenunuwa nini Of course ka Timbaland mali Hey, lazima Timbaland mbili Timbaland mbili Kwa sama nini Mipi ya mbichi mbichi ni mbichi Nika ingia kwa hawa yangu manze first time hiyo 2012 Head into 2013 so yeah, that, that happened, yeah, yeah. My guy, <laughs> yo. During this time, before this mm. fifty thousand, mm. kuna point apa katika tu lifilu kaste mazile ai mziki maze ah. Bro, bro. Uh, in two thousand and twelve, probably apo I had one of the, my lowest moments in life because now I used to live with my uh, my dad. Me and my dad, my mom was in 
familia tu mambo mingi mingi so I used to live with my, my dad and he he passed away yeah tukio tunaishinali toka kaenda ushago and then he died yeah that's why I'm getting a call kwa huko ushago hiyo ndo sawa kati maisha kanichapa nikabidi sana nimeenda Dandora kutafuta kutafuta form oh, yani unajua oh, okay, eh. okay. so my dad passed away na ni basi kuna akina Jona Jona sana ni wakani accommodate at least kwa kidogo kuna langa kwa kiti 2012 eh so hiyo wakati ni like sasa what why why all this and the previous year there is a guy who had accused me of uh, stealing from him yo so mimi nilishikangwa nika nilifungangwa industrial area and i stayed out there yeah usha ila landani unajua kuna kulala ndani ya police station na kuenda no. court na kwa nini na kushikwa industrial area so ulienda court eh I, i went to court and they took me uh, i didn't know how the court system used to work wao ambao tuko na kesi court wao endapo umejionyesha eh hey, nini 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 unaambia eh hey, nini bill bill imeekwa 15000 tap kama unayo pesa ingiza yeye hey, huko liingia huko stayed out there for like uh, for like what two three weeks yo eh hey, two three weeks nikakaa hapo ndani So unaona hizo my experience sasa hapa mzee pia tena mbele ya mededi so una juli sasa easy way to stand life mean. is not like tena it. as far pia as education goes pia you don't have at yet kitu yenye yeah. ina nini so nilikuwa nimesema actually plan yangu ilikuwa ni kwenda Malindi niende Malindi ilikuwa <laughs> 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 ni ilikuwa na niende Malindi ni kwa bounce huko <laughs> utafute form huko nikaa Mungu atafute wazungu tunaanza hata wazungu tunasema tu ni wazungu but unajua pia family sister yangu alikuwa anaishi ngi Malindi yani with my the rest of my family yeah okay so Malindi pia part of my life nili grow up nini ilikuwa tulikuwa tunaka huko so plan nilikuwa niende Malindi nikaa tafute job huko ni yani nikae tu huko yani because yeah. the music pia i was just rapping and it wasn't working now on of course mimi kwa kufanya muziki junior junior passion sikuwa naongoja yeah. nilipe unaona yeah. but nothing was working out in my life unaona but uh, ivo ivo tu ikaenda and then you get to that point you get a song umeanza kushika watu wana ku respect watu wana ku nini and then you it's happening uh, it's happening yeah. what was the inception of blue ink because i've seen i've come to the studio yeah. that name first of all is dope yeah. i'm all, even the logo i'm always like mm. what was mm. this guy thinking i'm mm-hmm. like there's some mm. um, Mm. Blue ink blue ink yeah how because initially by there mm. uh, i used to think you are signed mm. to an international label mm-hmm. called blue ink <laughs> then later i'm like this guy owns this thing <laughs> <laughs> yeah blue ink is a is a is a stable that we started with uh, my guy francis because yeah. i know francis for the longest time since high school look if you yeah but uh who is happens to be my manager right now yeah but Francis kwa man akwanga manager wangu I think yote bado kwa na feel kama kwa na capacity ya ku ku ni hold as a manager na, na pia sisi wote tulikuwa young tulikuwa tuna learn industry so hapo mbele mbele big shout out to Ridic by the way as manager wangu pia alikuwa ananisaidia saidia Ridic big beats yeah, yeah. and now uh, Francis tukaambia na eh hey, buda ni aje wewe tufungue label wewe buda watu wanatusumbua kwa nje and now we eh au muzizumbuliwe tutataka kusumbuliwa tukaifungua kama kampuni it's a company uh, limited company blue ink and we opened that and um nika design up ndani ya blue ink unaona mimi sasa wanga niko signed under blue ink signed under the blue ink that you own so uh, tukaanzia we started I, i actually the first i think the first artist in Kenya mwenye alifungua nga ofisi and obina you can attest to that nilifunga ofisi buruburu na kumbuka yeah. na nikaeka ma lounge za kukaa it was everything i was there yeah, you remember man <laughs> i came through so tukafungua man i put my we put the money we had together and tuko tunachanga changa tuna tukafungua tukachukua ka apartment pale ka nini ka buru hizo ma stand alone tukaeka lounge nini ilikuwa na reception lounge kuna hey, ofisi manzi. kuna studio kuna nini cuz hiyo kitu ilifanyika nilikuwa nimechoka na iPhone ya unajanga wasanii sasa hizi ukipiga anga wasanii hata mostly during daytime wanakuwa anga kwa kwa hao unaona yeah. na nilikuwa nataka mimi napenda kufanya vitu zangu professional na anytime na feel nimekaa kwa nyumba hiyo 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 kitu i unajua feelings don't hard work nataka anga nitoke kwa nyumba nimeenda job nafanya anga every day nafanya natoka anga asubuhi kwangu yeah. na naanza na gym naenda mambo ya mjengo naenda job natoka jioni 
So even when I go back to my case, I'm like, a job. So, sit uh, introduce your so concept. You'd rather go yeah. chill in the studio. Yeah, you get studio. And plus, there's so much to do. Yeah. When you get a space like that, and then you realize there's so much you can do. Uh, other than, when you get a space like that, you limited. Yani, yeah. think you limited. Creative juices. Yeah. But you can get a office. Francis has an office. I have a studio there. And we, we make a lot of things work. So, yeah. We did that with uh, big time men, and they are not going to say this right now because but I, I revolutionized this thing and I made it, I took it from. Now you did it, you're doing it, you're doing your thing. But Mimi, I did it, I did it, I did it, I and after that, everybody started following suit. Like in a, uh, ata sauti soul wali fungwa ni ni. Like in a, we've seen guys open it. Yeah. Eh, juu lembi watu wakubatini kwa kwa nyumba. Ungu ni office yende ni kazi. Rudi ni kwa nyumba juu ni kwa kwa nyumba yeye yeye zoezi kwa kwa nyumba the old day unana TV at when imsa nyuma ngo jo figure simu kusho. Enda mahali unafanya pro. All my meetings you used to you came to when you, cause you you've been my G for the longest time. My meetings, I used to do my meetings for my premises. I, those guys are going, can you come, uh, can you meet, uh, meet at a uh, place where you're going to go? Tao, you're going to go to Java. Java, you're going to go to Java. 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 It was Java. Can you come to Java? I'm like, nah, I'm pulling up to Java. You come to my space. I got, a, I got an office. Let's come and come and we have those conversations there. Yeah. Now, even though Australians are going to be banga serious, every time, and I was even doing my deals with Monster Energy, um, all these deals I've been doing, all we could make for premises young. Because when I could on a mimic, was serious about my craft. I know what I'm here for. And, bro, you know how hard it is to, to make it in Kenya with being a musician. That, but being a rapper, that's a, that's Kenya, a difference. That's a, that's a unique between now, worst case scenario. You know, it's like be there's yeah. being a comedian, find yeah. skits, but yeah. be a stand up comedian. Ah, That's yeah. a different <laughs> thing. Yeah, so that, that's how it came to be. And ever since me and Francis, we've been working together, on a job. Yeah. and he's my manager everywhere we go, he's always there. And Francis, I'm a true son, I joke handle it professionally. Me and convince Francis, I'm a bro. Mimi si endi kutafuta money. Wewe ndo utabidi umekuwa manager. And he had to go back to school. Yo. And eh yeah, Francis alirudi chuo aka learn hiyo kitu tena aka relearn. Alika huko ni ilikuwa ni miaka 4. <laughs> miaka 4 alifanya miaka 4. Francis wala ni kazia wacha leo nimeripot kwa boss. <laughs> Sometimes I call you for some jobs. Francis tana dipelekanga. Niko like mazi bro mazi. I know. Yeah. I love him. Then now myself I also like doing things professionally. Yeah. I know you but mm. if I have jobs mm. I'll call Franco. I'm like Franco ni aje kuna hii job nini nini nini. You know, you know. Mm. I think the only one I called you mm. that time, Francis was not managing you. Mm. When we went to the studio, when I picked you, we had to uh, do a song with you and Christophe. Yeah, Christophe had to do a song with you. So we went with you all the way to Kasarani, yeah. to Vides. Yeah. Vides, we are at Vides studio. Hybrid, we did a song that never came out mm. for whatever reason. When we had to do the video, things just happened, mm. happened, yeah. happened. Yeah. I released it like an audio. Yeah. <laughs> I still love the files. That was the yeah. first song that you cast in. My, bro, what do you mean? My nigga, I was cursing the No, all. that was the first song you said, motherfucker. Bro, my nigga, I had a song called Fuck Off. I put out a song called Fuck Yo. Off in 2012. And I took wow. it to DJP. Fuck Off, Muda. And I'm like, Bro, and that's, if you listen to that song today. He still sings. Bro, bana, mazi. You saw called critics in the 254. I don't want to, I don't want to be cancelled, but yeah, that, yeah. that shit So in bad. our song, you are talking about the haters who thought to change that a bigger show. Uh, so you're yeah. flowing, you say, you thought to oh, change that a bigger show, uh, motherfuckers, na, 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 na. No regrets. It's called no regrets. Bro, yeah, you have good hey, memory. Hey, 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 <laughs> you have good memory. Yeah. What brings me to this? Do you do playback? I don't do playback. I don't do playback on stage, and everybody knows that, and that is why. Once again, but nobody can do what I do on stage, and that is a proven fact. And they are not going to say that, but nobody can do. You've seen all the shows. Probably yeah. had shows where because I don't do playbacks. That's yeah. the trick, and I and um, I know how to make songs that are 
some of the songs that I make are very performable, if that's a term yeah, in English. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Very performable. So I've seen guys who have songs that are probably like a 10 million on YouTube or on the economy. But when they get on stage and they try to perform it's that song, me and get to the young United Africa one million. Buddha, yeah, yeah. I love the energy and plus I'm legit. Yeah. Everything I do is legitimate. I couldn't me the energy that I bring on. This is what you see is what you get on a jewel. And I'm a real nigga. Like I, me, me nim se too really ani. Jiku. G spend the highlights is a kuringa ringa ma I don't know what to say mana ringanga ni kini lakini mina penanga tuku roll venyeneza roll. It's called the culture. Yeah. Hip hop. You know, you know what it is. That's what's up. Yeah. Then you came and uh, there's a point you decided to tow a tent. Yeah, tow a tent. Kali, I mean, tow a tent. You yeah. actually tow a tent for real. On a jua tow a tent was the biggest. Uh, there was tow a tent and Yego. No, Yego now. Yego was uh, just before tow a tent. Yeah. Because there was Yego, which people are like, wait a minute. That's time Julius Yego was huge. Yego was, Yego was there. <coughs> and then Mazishi after that. And then, yeah. now, career you could like, you could go mainstream. Yeah. But, nini. Now, to attend, I bought a Range Rover of that. I bought a Range Rover of The red that. one. The red one that I had. Yeah. I bought a Range Rover. And because on the song I said, Subaru Sani Mesha Kinda. And funny enough, I didn't even have a Range Rover that time when I was doing the song. <laughs> two months after that. Manifestation. Bro, two months after that, I don't know what that, that, that whole scenario. Yeah. To the next level. Even the peak of my career. And up from there now, now even my name became like, like a proper household name. Yeah. Majua, hey, yeah. It's called and putting the, it out to the yeah. universe. And you and did it. Na mi, na mi siku, mi studio studio big up you are coming new season but uh, OG. <laughs> OG, it is OG, what it is it is what it is but honestly speaking I, I i haven't seen i haven't seen a guy here yeah local locally who can outwork me i mean people will Work come ethic and, i've seen People, people will come and the yeah. could not want to a big songs, bigger. Yeah. Mm, but, no, but a big song and you know, yours is like, it's a journey. Mm. The, bro, I've been in this industry I think for 11, 12 years maybe. I've seen yeah. people come and go. I've yeah. seen tomorrow I wake up, this person is a huge superstar. 50 shows in one day. Then after like two, three years, then another person comes. But you've always been, since I've known you, you've always just been constantly pole pole. That time, mm. why did you bleach? Uh, hype Buddha, Ujinga Tuyani. Well, you bleached like because you came for an interview at, at NTV. No, but you even still, let me tell you, let me tell you what happened on that uh, interview. Yeah. You know that interview. You interview the elite. It is a nini it. Bro, there are people always have malicious intentions. Okay. When you go to my album, uh, the first song called uh, Invisible Currency, I say TV stations call you uh, to embarrass you on, 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 on interviews. Yeah. So it, it, it is a... I don't know how it came out that nearly thrive off that situation. It was meant to bring you down. It was meant to bring me down. And bro, since that time, I didn't give a fuck about everything. I mean, I started moving like Nini. Because I've, I've, I, I realized that no, nobody, nobody, commit, nobody is your friend. True, These guys true. on the media, they're always trying to sell. Nini. I'll not even dig deep to me. Yani yata no trying as much as I can to stay away from that. But one time I'll 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 talk about that. Yeah. I'll talk about that. And because that shit was supposed to bring me down. And people are celebrating. Buddha Calligraph Jones finally to a Kachini. Jamana. Buddha meaning to Nazakachini. Mimi. 
Buda, mimi. Mi uwezi hata watu wote wakishika. Mimi naona anga watu sisi. Eh kaligra Buda, mimi tafute ni mtu mwingine. Mimi muwezi. Mimi zile vitu nimeona kwa maisha. None of these guys out here who ni ni can even wear my shoes. Ni mazishi. Bro, Buda, mimi uwezi aka chini. So tulikuja tuka 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 thrive even after that and I said one time I'll bring that that shit to the light. Wacha kwanza nimaliza kutengeneza nyumba yangu mansion. From the balcony. Yeah, from like, the first balcony, of all, man, say, yeah. Obina, on this this day, yeah. you know, fuck off, Danny. <laughs> but yeah, that uh, that happened. Yeah. Mm. Currently, you are the most ranked artist in Kenya, consistent. Si wacha wale wanatokea from nowhere leo na hit song then na nafanya majuzi then na potea tena. Like you've been consistent. How does it make you feel when you just step on the stage? You know, like the events are always host, then you are the you, you are the A-list, like you are the showstopper. Mm -hmm. So we let the other guys perform. Then I'm like, yo, now Caligraf, yo, da, 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 da. then you always just get on stage, and then you keep quiet, then you just look at the guys. Mm -hmm. And they go wild. How does that make you feel? It makes me feel good because I'm authentic. Yeah. I am authentic. Like I said, what you see is what you get. Now, I say I I'm a real. Yeah. I'm a, when you're there, there, we've had people who would come and uh, sit here? What you find humble like Obina? You don't mean I could have said, Yeah, or that too. Yeah, Nini. but Ukichunguza Vizuru of Visuru, Kona Turo, Chap, any, they are not about that. I like, know, too many. I know, too Mimi, many. Mini Koi, bro, me what to the Miss Idea. And I have Mr. Kangi engine. So, do you know I'm the one who did? I don't do that shit. I don't do that at all. If they want to talk about it, well, uh. what I don't care. Mimi, like in this Kwangi on the Nah. Hata kwa kari yangu sa hivyo nye nime learn Baka mali nime kukia sa hii Nime try kuji remove from I want to thrive off my talent Stucky ati I try to stay away from clout Izo mavitu Yani stucky izo vitu Ntaka sa hii Watu wani eshimu because of What I bring to the table And I realized that Kwanza sa hizi ndo wana eshimu even more I used to think kitambo ati Now I need to release songs every time Now man When you are respected as the OG and you're authentic, the respect is going to remain there forever. Do that at your own time. No, no. So anytime I get on stage and I and I that is the energy yeah. I radiate. You know? <laughs> <laughs> that is the kind of energy yeah. that I radiate to the fans because they feed off the energy and they know what it is. When I do kikutana mimi in bro, me I'm the only guy, probably the the only artist. Me no nanga to ino kidama shorty mombasati. Magari zimi uja ma after movie. I don't do that. They, all the guys who've called me for gigs when I was like, I'm going to go to the Maji, I'm going to go to Academia, I'm going to go to Nayo, I'm going to go to the Maji, I'm going to go to the Maji, I'm going to go to the stage, the highlight. And not to say that it's bad for people who want to move like that, but I don't move like that. Iyo hype ya nini? Chini ya maji. Ah, mi mtu ya chini ya maji. Lakini kipa on the stage, wanujua ni mazishi. Ni mazishi. Yeah. How many songs do you perform in one night on the stage? When you're paid, what you want to be paid? Depends with the fans. Okay. But I just try to, 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 to maximize. Yani, I give, I give it, I, I give it my all. Mbaka ni one wako, wako nini? Wako satisfied. Okay. And but sometimes they, they most of the time they, they can are, never be satisfied. Uh, satisfied. But uh, when I find it too professionally, one time I saw a quote by uh, I don't know. P I think PLO is the one who posted that. He said that uh, even the best, I think the best artist, if you prolong your stay on yeah, the stage, yeah, 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 you start. A good performer knows when to exit the stage. There you go, man. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So start too much, you're like ah, now. Uh, so yeah. You've done over an hour, two hours on stage. Bro, I've done two hours. Yeah. I can comfortably do three. Yeah. Uh, but normally, locally, they are an hour thirty, an hour thirty. And you only need to me arakisha. Yeah. If you arakisha, you need two, two and a half. Because all the songs are hits. Like most of them, yeah, most of them. You are beef with Octo. Was it real? Or was it hype? See, you are depending your boys. Ajai ni penda tu, lakini Ojo laba, kuna tu mtu Kuna tu mtu unweza feel upendi, yani unajua Na wezi mblem, ulizaliwa hivo Ulizaliwa kwa upe, yani uo mtu Damu zao nini, so niliwanaka Kwa interview ya kisema Mi, si pendi mwana kas Pendi mwana na vaa And you can understand, man, because I've probably I don't think I feel that way About anybody, but 
naweza mu understand uh, kwa nini anipendi jota mimi ningekuwa yeye singejipe <laughs> singependa calligraph unaona <laughs> okay yeah, so okay. that's that yeah i mean but, but we no, una beef na yeye ah sai manze buda niliingia miaka 33 buda sasa una vitu tumeanza tweni yuko wapi buda mpaka saa hii buda mimi nikutana huko doctor niaje uko poa eh 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 akitaka nini akitaka akimbia ama akitaka aseme yeah i'm just bongi no boys but bro we outgrow that shit and same as yeah na tena he's doing his thing he has um, and, uh, uh, he has clean pictures on on social media yeah uh, okto is a very good model unajua eh manzo okto apiga model in fit sana na we respect <laughs> No, he has a cloth line. It's called Ciso. Come on. Ciso, Ciso, ndo tunaso si, si pia si si sasa. Ciso tunaso si 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 sasa. So we respect Yo. that. And, and then I and I respect him so much because uh, Jamal came out of Kibira. Man, I used to see that guy even back in the days. He ain't had nothing. Yeah. And just to see him elevate to where he is, that is something you have to respect. Ata kama una mpenda ama umpendi, man, you got to respect the grind. Na Octopizo, mimi na respect, yani unaona. Yeah. So that is never going to change but uh you mish you know mambo tu yoni ni mambo ya rap mambo at nani na anajua ku rap kushinda mwingine there was a battle there was three kings there was Octo you and King Kaka kwani yaona niweza au ku rap bro ile kusema ukweli and then it was too mambo mingi to let's leave all the other factors behind uh ati tukona nani tukona King Kaka eh kuna Octo eh. alafu kulikuwa na Kaka ana niweza ku rap muda yuko kusema ukweli muda tuonge tu ukweli Bro, kurap, mambo labda kitu kingine kuvangua wanaweza kunishinda. I don't know ku, ku nini but kurap. Eh. Aha, ibuda niambie watu wengine. Haya, tuzushi hapo ndani eh Nyashinski. Nyasha. Nyash ni mnoma. But bado hawezi nishinda. Hawezi, <laughs> hawezi bro. Haya. Eh. Haya, I know, I know, I know how to end this. Eh. Dubi dubi. Doobies, doobies. doobies, I, I would, I wouldn't even put myself in that position at the way I want to go. I, I want to, and Nyash would have been the same too because Nyash is a guy I, I, I emulated. Yeah. You know, Jua, he's the guy I used to see when I was young. But now we're in the same field right now. Yeah. So I'd, I'd be like, yeah, I can any. But Nyash, there's a verse he spit. When you chuki washani udi, mambo sani kuji, panga vile tutashe ganja bila udi. Sumi taxin mogoka na kichuri mkiwa steam na anza kuropoka na sijui. Dani ya club sorora, the rap sosa, dani ngumu kunipata kandani ya club choko ra. Na flow proper sani shaku wa msweet kama mnazi ya machoko ba. Matablo zisha ni bo, kitako neza mini kenyu lisoma kwa pasa, tinyasha likuwa kanivo. Na denflani, picha kwa gazeti nya zamani, mili kwa mtani na seti majani. Bro, that's the... It is pekni kona of onyash. Bro, I can spit a whole verse in your name. Yo! <laughs> Yo, man! Yeah. I didn't know you like Nyash that much. Bro, Nyash. But yeah, those guys were shaping up our they childhood. Did, and, they and were like... You gotta, you gotta respect that. You gotta respect that, man. I would be lying and I would be a fool if I came out here to say that. Ah! Nyash, you don't know. Trust me, we're going to say to go in the same field yeah. yani tuna nini it's a competitive game guy mm. nini so it's a man in man society uh, yeah she's on another and i respect him for that yani he moves he knows how to write and uh, nini but uh, the rest yeah ah uh, buda sai la do niambia watu kama kina nani anaitwa nani ska scam cardinali scam cardinali those are guys now who run what on a rap bro okay there's also breeder breeder na rap there's trio Trio na rap Buddha. But do you feel like kuna unajua when you are when, when you the OG yeah man and and and, 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 and I would be happy nikiona trio na kwa compare na calligraph na watu wanasema trio ni mnoma the fry because i need these kids walikuja wali mimi ndo alikuwa na influence yao unaona yeah. so for for them to, people to consider them as a, a, a t- better than bro in any party happiness for like yeah i did that thing breeder no talk to breeder man i breeder i called breeder told him come to the studio record calicatel jamam is a big guy you know probably yendo mtu ni mwana tunatosha nanga na yeye unajua came to the studio jamaro safi tukanini breeder tulifanya calicatel he flew with it akusleki na probably is one of a few when yana kujanga back kwangu kuniambia enye kali you put me on 
Yeah. Or you put me on. There are very many guys I put, but they... They don't say manga, anything. Oh, no, but yeah, you can't blame them. Watasema, watasema, watasema at their own time. You know, testimony ya mtu. Yeah. You always force testimony to come. Mtu apatia na testimony. I feel like... Uh, yeah. Mm. Speaking of which, I also wanted to give you your flowers. Kali Katel. Mm. Dope. Putting a lot, a lot of other artists on mm. to have a collab with you for Makina Achicho, Nani. Mm. I saw it the first one and I was like, okay, then Kali Katel too, it was coming. Why did you start Kali Katel? Kali Katel was a. Uh, Elianzisha too, because I, I have very many rapper friends yeah. who don't have, uh, you know, like that, the visibility, Ani, or Japatiwa the attention they deserve. So when we started Kali Katel, we did Kali Katel one with a. Uh, Span be my bro, of course. Uh, there was Petra. Petra, there hey, Petra uh, is fire, yo. Bro. There's Petra. no female artist in Kenya mm. who can flow mm. better than Petra. But she needs to put in work, man. Yeah, Petra really well. that's man, the only you know, problem. All the talent, the skill, but... Wa um, wa Bosco. Uh, Bosco. Uh, hey, but a Petra, man, Petra you know, bro. Petra yeah. is Fire, even the yeah. accent, the yeah. flow, everything. the swag, everything. everything, the writing, Petra yeah. is fire, and then also ecstatic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But at some point, ecstatic was just like, like but she, I think, even she's, Fena at some yeah. point, Fena was fire. Yeah. She, I think that they still are. Sometimes, when you appear for life, people have to probably rediscover themselves and yeah. then, then get back on their knee. So, you wouldn't blame, especially for when your females are very sensitive, yeah, uh, to, to, to the weather. <laughs> uh, to, 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 the, to the weather, to the yeah. knee, like emotions, fears, so you yeah, gotta give yeah, them true, time and true. let them move how they want to move. But we had Petra, Don, Don, Don J, uh, rest in peace, Sagini. Sagini was also part yeah, of that. Sagini. At some point, I had signed him on my label, and uh, and me, we did Kalikate. Kalikate one was just like a lit, gonna lit mass paper. You know, get a lit mass test. Yeah, gonna how this thing is going to fly. It blew up. Kalikatel 2 came to uh, Step Capella, Fire. T uh, TNT, Una Timi Blanco, Una 28, uh, Ecstatic, Caterpillar, Ooh. and uh, who else was out there? Uh, Smoke it. Everybody was on the knee. Then Kalikatel 3 sandwich really blow up, Kabisa. Kalikatel 3 ilikuwa na Beiti. You know, like a court, like a court yes, session. Yes, the court set up with yeah. a gray suit. Yeah. <laughs> you got a gray suit. I was out there. I was an attorney. <laughs> and I was uh, speaking like uh, Nini. Yeah. So, Beatty, Breeder, uh, Silverstone Bars. Yeah. Um, Reckless. Reckless, what's that quite? Reckless. Uh, who else was out there? Uh, Chihuahua and the legendary Chihuahua. Chihuahua yeah. Mazunana. Yeah. And then we went to Calicatel 4. Now, Indo it really a, a movie. Which uh, I feel like bad what I appreciate it because bro, you know how hard it is to act a movie in Kenya, kupata resources that worked movie. Bro, we acted a movie on like to a whole dialogue on a song, like we are talking and it's a movie you're acting. Yeah. Bro, if you think about it, that thing is very complex. By the way, guys, you need to give me my flowers for for orchestrating these things. <laughs> I orchestrate these things and it's not easy. <laughs> so Sijafanya Kalikatel 5. Yeah. Na watu wanauliza Kalikatel 5 ina kuja nini? Because now watu wamek expectation iko kuji because it can only get better. From the movie now what X. Uh, yeah, what yeah. So you we are planning for that and uh we want to see if we can take it now global. But at the same time bado na kongo tuna feeling flani ya watu wanadia. Kali sasa sifanye Kalikatel wendo chukua tu South Africa. Sijui watu wa nini but I'm like it's not about how that. is that going to profit for uh, this the, 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 the industry here? Yeah. Because you're trying to bring up young guys here who need uh, that attention, visibility, PR with famous. So can I manage to come to South Africa? Yeah, yeah, Those rappers don't care about us. So me, I mean the cartoon maintain two now to to happen because even right now as we speak, bro talent to imta. Bro. Bro talent to There's a guy called Mbithi. Bro, Bithi, I know Bithi, bro, man. Bithi is fire. Bithi, you, 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 you step up your game, man. That guy can write, he can Bithy sing, can he can write, can he sing, can rap, can. Bithi is yo. Most of all, he knows how to make music. You can know how to do all those, but you don't know how yeah, to make yeah, yeah. He knows how to make music, man. So, you want to see how that goes, Yanni Pia, with Bithi. Yeah. But there are guys out here. Why do you think the Kenyan music industry is suffering bro like guys are putting in work like you you're putting in work you've tried you've tried 
we have Nyashinsky, we have whoever, da, 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 they're putting on this work. But, but it ain't suffering, man. We're just... That is a... But Kenyan artists are broke, bro. And who Apart said, from three, four, five... Let, let, let me, let me uh, tell you something. Yeah. There's this narrative that is always being pushed to the masses that uh, Kenya is doing bad. Okay. Uh, Kenya is doing bad. Oh, Kenyan artists, uh, uh, you're competing against uh, Nigerian guys. Now you look at how the Nigerian guys are moving. Look at the way the guys from TZ are moving. Bro, most of these guys who are talking, they never traveled out there to see uh, the situation on the ground. Me, I've traveled. I've been to TZ. I went to Nigeria, bro. I went to Sierra Leone. Those are remote places that people don't even step foot in. But I went out there. And I can come back and tell you this confidently, bro. We are doing well. Probably the numbers on YouTube, because yeah. YouTube now is, is in the metric of... of <laughs> of judging much, success. Eh, judging success. <laughs> like, yeah. Hey, views that, ngapi. Eh, views are ngapi. Bro, we are doing good. And let me tell you this. Of all the countries, I think, perhaps Kirudi was on a semanga. Nigerian on a kumbali. Bro, have you, do you know about the Nigeria's population? Eh? <laughs> yeah, if you work in the numbers. Bro, if you are working in numbers, yeah. it's a numbers game. Yeah. Nigerians in Kenya can fill up a whole stadium. Nigerians here in Kenya, if they need it, they can fill up a whole stadium. So you want to comp You guys have probably, what, 50 million? Took up a 50 million, Cindy. Those guys are like 200 plus. 200, I don't know, 200 plus. Kujuzi kulikuwa na ile statistics, zili ezilieko. Kenya, watu wakukwa online, ilikuwa ni 15. Yeah. I think you are 15 million. Uh, Nigeria iko in the hundreds of millions, you know TZ iko juu ya Kenya probably na with 15 million juu yake. Unaona? Yeah. So kuna pressure mingi tunaekewa hapa and I, I think the reason why guys do this is just the way Kenya is a, is, has a culture of self-hate. So, true. Obina, you can be doing good out here with these interviews you're doing but because msia kupendi atasema celebrities wa Kenya ni wako chini. And it's not to it's all the umbrella effect and I'm try to generalize eh, and generalize and So I have to chini. But I have to chini. Bro, that is a lie. Bro, I've been to, bro, the rate card yet to APIV in Kenya, yani, it is way above. And, and not to say that TZ is doing bad, but how many names can you mention in TZ that you think are above? Uh, let's put Nyashinsky for that matter. Give me, give, give me like a, Give me five names. I'm Sintaji Diamond. I'm Harmonized. I'm Wasafi. Same Rayvan. Same Wasafi. Same boss. Huh? Aya Jukes. Aya. Aya Bas Mario Bas. Ako Ako Nini. Ako on top of Nyashinsky's level. Ako better than South South. Man, I'm not even gonna put myself on that list, Buddha. Me, 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 buyer. Me, 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 level lingin. But in no English, I'm not happy with it. Yeah, but in East Africa, I don't think there's a hip hop artist that can be compared to you oh, now. What do you mean in East? Oh, me, guys... nah, Buddha. No, what am I doing? Okay, Africa, okay. In Africa, wall up, Buddha. Wall up, wall up, wall up. I am not going to change my mind. Ni me toa. Ni me toa. Ni me toa. Ni me withdraw. Ni me withdraw. I was starting with East Africa, then I go south, and then I come back. Like now, if you go to USA, do you feel there's somebody they say who's now? I can give credit to to Nasty C. Nasty C, yeah, He's doing good and and uh, bro, there's also another factor you need to, to understand here. Okay, I did. I've done all this that I'm doing right now without a label. Easy videos are any self-sponsored. Not even one time. Kuna mtu ametokea flani ba se calligraph. We have five million. Let's, let's put it in, on uh, here. Let's invest kwa nini. Nobody, man. These guys have. Late, their industries were thriving even before. You see, we had to pick this thing from the ground up. Yeah. And to get to this level where Calligraph is, nom is getting BT nominations. Nabado, utapata media, media house, media outlet ya Kenya na ulizaatu. Guys, do you think Calligraph deserves to be nominated? Nigga, fuck out of here, bitch ass nigga. What you mean? Me puta ni mekele a job. Na, kwa sa easy. Kwanza <laughs> mbaya this taki mo Mr. Kujin kasi sababu watu wana nje. Watu wana nje ban. Wewe unitabidi mwa bia muda. You have to respect the OG ban. Do you think calligraph needs to? Yes. Yeah. Mimi I put in the work man from the ground up. I went to a freema. 
to in, in the United States of America, first time ever, and I went out there and I came through with a trophy, went back to Afrima in Nigeria, came back with another trophy, went back for Sound City, and understand that these, are, these, are, these guys are not, they don't know me on a personal level. They know me as an artist, as yeah. Calligraph Jones. I go out there and they want on a, based on their gatherings, that this is the guy we need to award as the best rapper. And they, and they give me the trophies. Narudinazo Kenya, bro, but they trying to act like they don't see that shit. Who don't mean me? Niko apa? Na ba ya niko apa? Ni bunda na ndawa bo. Kama mi hafikiri na toka sahi ndawa bo. Kwa sahi zinu na filikani meanza kama upcoming artist. Kwa sahi na toka sahi ndo na juwa. Dio warm up. And bro, I am a, I am a product of very many prayers. Zama mangu. Kwa linyi mene zana maumbi ya mamangu. The same exact day. instantly. So malaria, and malaria is a very, very serious uh, sickness because it kills. So malaria Buda ni kubaya. So you gotta give me my... You guys. Wewe. <laughs> Ebu wapatie this, this moja freestyle. Kuna freestyle ya nini wanunuwa ngoma. Ah! I have that. <laughs> For what? <laughs> Mehen. Haidan did everything. We did everything. Wafike and, bay. And bro, back to you, what we were saying about Ken Kenyan music is doing good. Yeah. Bro, Kenyan music is doing good. And we have made proper strides into... Um, Success, yeah. Oh, no, no. Yeah. yeah. Strides have been made, and for people to come out and cancel that just because you you dislike Obina or dislike Calligraph to say that Kenyan music industry is, is ikotini, that is uncalled for. Because the next time you say that, brother kum dogo I want to be a rapper like Calligraph Jones, and yeah. you are the same person who's saying Kenyan music ikotini. How do you think? It, see, you, when you're shitting on Kenyan music, and it affects everybody. It affects everybody in any. So your your notion to talk about kichocha to achieve self hate. When you travel out there, bro, me I went I went to Nigeria, <coughs> bro, Kenya to to cos, to set, yeah. and we need to be thankful. And I stay thankful up to date. When I started going outside in Kirudi, atanilia changa pressure. You know some na pressure ni. Bro, to kosara buda manzejo. King Kaka, Octopizo, uh, Nyashinsky, um. I'm not mentioning Bado singers. Bado to Jengia Kino. To Rico singers, Otile Brown, uh, Wakadinali, even right now. Them kids is popping. Um, Nadia Mkami. Arrow Boy. Arrow Boy. Uh, Brooklyn Boys. You gotta mention those. Where well, Buddha said to Nachat, where Hippo Pinja Obina. <laughs> Brooklyn Boys are from Kazinoma. Sawa, no, bro. No. <laughs> those guys are doing a good job, and they have, they have to be commended yeah. for that because yeah. they're doing good. Unaona, all those guys, and just to mention a few, just to mention Fenaji, Fenagitu, Unaona. Yeah. Kuna jina gani mnani mgini? Femi. Femi One, Femi Uno. Yeah. All these are big names, and these guys have worked really hard to bring Kenyan music to that level where it is. So, you got to respect that. Bukitu siwe kudanga nyati inini, uko inje ati wanadu nini. Na, ato tijipado, ujue tijia toa ya calligraph. And now I'm going to mention Na Calligraph Jones. Yeah. You guys need to go into prayer and fasting for seven days and thank God for having Calligraph. Because, bro, I don't put you guys on. I put you guys on the international map. That's true. Yeah, That's prayer true. and fasting, seven days from next week. Regardless of Shagwa, let's go. You know. I'm going to say my TikTok is a simple boy. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, one thing that some of the fans who are watching need to know, mm. if you support a Kenyan artist, it's source of employment to other people that you don't know. Mm. For example, I'm a content creator. That's where people have put me now, a mm. comedian. In my team, I've employed about 15 people on payroll. True. That is minus my so director and my camera guy. Here, yeah. Yes, I'm manager. Uh, I have my PA. Mm. I have my wardrobe guy. I have my assistant. I have my office manager. All these guys... Everybody, about 15 people, that if I get paid, they get paid. So if you hate on me, so I stop getting paid, means all these people are jobless. Yeah. Same thing to the OG. There's blue ink. There's all these people who do yeah, everything. Yeah, but yeah. 
Now, all of us now, you start writing, and maybe your sister, your cousin, your nephew, your niece, your girlfriend, your boyfriend is benefiting in extension from me. You want to buy some dope shoes. I've seen you have amazing sneakers. Someone mm. sells them to you. Mm. And if you don't get the money, you don't buy that. True, true, you true. are also into machines and everything, which I want us to get into in a, in a little bit. Mm. So now, now I want us to get into machines, uh, success now. Mm. Uh, you're building an amazing house and also family, also an amazing dad. Mm. So we just want to get into that a little bit as we wrap up. Uh, but everybody watching, if you support one Kenyan artist, trust mm. me, from the event organizers to the people who are selling in that location where the event is happening, to security, to camera people, all of them are benefiting because of that one person. Mm. Bro, it's a long, long list. Mm. Now, before I get into the Magari, the calligraph, let me also talk to you about Magari. Zangu. Hey, you want to get Magari? Go to Magari Affordable. They're the best dealers in town for all the motifs that you want. You want like a small kadudu. You want a bigger machine like the OG. Talk to Magari Affordable. Malipoyao ni pole, pole. Kama unaji nice tu, venyu unaji bamba. They're going to give you that machine that you like. And maybe you're asking yourself, Sazo unajua, umesha pata gari, napiga luku wapi. The best place to be is Style Hub. They're in Westlands. Uh, Karuna Close Bavaria Garden Shop number one. Royal Fit Style Hub. Unapata luku moja polite. Unaka fiti, unaka kama mtu mwenye na jeleo. Sikuna. Na pia wa baitha wako na malipi wa pole pole. Unaona ka sneaker, unamia ni pesa ngapi? Ni tau kumi. Unaka mna lipa tau, tau, tau. Kimaliza, unachukua sneaker yako. Sikuna zimu, lazima nitafute. Mamo ni kujipanga. And for those guys saying, but sasa unajua, niko na ka 10, ka 50. Nini naanzia wapi? Anzia more to bet. That is www.more2bet.com. They have a crash game. Unawekelea. Kana pande fist times to you. Double your money. Na unaji nice na yo. Alright? More to bed, www.motobed.com. Unapata, unapiga luku, unapata machine. All right, back to you. There's a Chrysler that you really will soup up. Yo, then you came, then there was this, uh, was it? it? No, it was not a Benz, but it was also maroon. The one with the, the old school seats, mm. like, like you used to ride it leaning back. Then later you came, then you are in a range. Then your wall, like you've always just been into machines. Is this because of KOB? If I keep you saying, and the under feet. No, ni sawa, yeah. but to Kianza. <laughs> ilikuwa ni because of KOB, na likuwa kukanga kwenye ma machini. Budangu alikuwa, Budangu at one point when you were rich, he, he had 20 cars. <laughs> now that, that's in 2001. He also Yo. kuata watu wakwane, and he had 20 cars because upaki wangapo ini ni. So kwe tu lavia magari me... 20 cars? Uh, yeah, 20 whips. Yo. Mr. Omolo. Mwenye, with the OG, Mwenye, yeah. b above the OG. There you go. So, you yo love your mamuti, nini span, ata siyezi ya sabu gari ya nakuanga nazo, yani, kuna, kuna gari nini. Kuna kuna mabima yeah. kaa zote. Yeah. 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 Any collector, ata the old ones, the nini, eh. Yeah. Mimi, I used to have, uh, I used to ball. Lakini sasi, Mr. Makenyu, Kenya music is shit. <laughs> so uh, nah, it's in a double up as a, as a, uh, an, uh, Uber driver. Uh, Uber in the meantime. So when do you Now, Subaru was your first machine? I bought a Subaru Legacy B4. Yeah. It's finally New Zealand. Uh, do you remember how much it was? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but I could lipa a yacht. I could buy a yacht. I could buy a yacht. I could buy a span 10K, 15, 30, nini could accumulate. I could buy a yacht. 350,000. The car was going for 400,000. I was going for 50k a Jew. I was going before Legacy KAU to Benji. Then from there, I was going to a Nini. I was going Subaru Forester. Now Forester is the same. Forester is G5 KBJ. Yeah, I remember that. I was going to use that. I was going to Nini kutoka hapo nika nikaanza kuongezea nikanunua kama Kex so ni, niliongezea nikakuwa na gari mbili sasa nilikuwa na Forester but eh hey, mwe na kama Kex kwa sababu pakingia natoka pia jifanya ti utazicheki wewe wewe yo time ma Kex bado ikuanga ti venye siku hizi vile ni no that time ma Kex was VIP bro exactly, i had a yeah. big crash on Mark X kwa hey. the old model what the are you saying what are you saying ile old yeah. model bro ilikuwa kupiga light tv alafu yeah. kama rim zile zinajelewa yeah. It was black. It was white. Ah. It was white. So I had uh, the Nini and the Mark X. So, uh, to a tint, nika nunua range, nika kwa na gari tatu. 
So I had the Range Rover, the Mark mm. X. Now I didn't have to sell a car to buy another one. <laughs> you just added your layer. I just added that into the co collection. You're also the first uh, musician, I think, to buy this Mercedes, the E classes. Uh, e class you had a the Benz at some point. You had a Benz. You had a Benz. You had a Range Rover. Please, please, please. please, please, please okay, please. all right. Range Rover, it was red. Ukaita shiti, akakuja kaibariki. Mi pia ni kajileta, ni kakuja ni kaibariki. Na jagu wa likuwa nga nama, lakini ya kina jagu, mi buda. Haa, tunongeju watu wa mpata pesa kwa mziki. Ya, ya, tuudi kwa mziki. Si watu wa mpata kwa biyashara ya mogo oda, mogo oda. Sa kutoka hapo tu ni kanza kwa nama collection. I bought, I had, I got into the car business and I was, I used to buy, yani yata sa zingine ni unakuwa nazo wakama stock. Juhu hata through COVID. Gari zangu zilidisa, nilikuwa na magari mob, so zilikuwa na, zilikuwa na, zina balance job. Yeah. Kwa na balance nazo job, una nini, slang, nini, what, nini, because I went and I bought another range after hiyo. Then I bought, sasa, pesa ikaisha, sasa nikarujitisa kwa Honda Fit. Ah, ah, unakata story. Tuko kwa hii range, hii, the red range. Then after the range, which one did you buy next? Another range. Another range. So, two ranges. Why? Nini uza hiyo red, nika buy nyingine. Uh, why? Because uh, the one that I bought was a newer one. Oh, current, current. Uh, okay. Yeah, yoyo nilinuwe li kwanga newer one. Okay. Uh, that was in 20... Towards the end of 2018. Yeah. Uh, so, 2019, tukaza kuongeza tu ma... Hizo ma Benz, hizo ma E... Ili kwa ni E350, ema E250, whatever, E-class, hiyo. Then, uh, nikaanza develop. Gari, gari mpia, haiko ina ni bamba sana, unaona? Kena magari, vintage. Eh, sasa do nika, kulikuwa na, when I was young, prezo ali shoot video flani hapo, ni mpi, R-A-Z-O. Yes. Aleka gari ingine hapo, ali kuwa. Kuna, I think, I think that was the song, enye DJ Styles ali kwa kwa video. Rav, rugged and bro. I I didn't know DJ Styles then. Yeah. Maybe just the impression. When I DJ Styles, I like for I like make a Dania Dania Gary who could back. Yeah. Now that's the red car. You know, Lisa, your vintage. You need to put up a kind of pattern. Yo. And I bought that. Yeah, yeah. From a guy called Omari. Omari in New Zealand. Yeah, look, I'm gonna like with him. Yeah, and the guys. Like Suka Boka, I can't be a two. In the interior, safi. You also did a video. Yeah, the Fanya wavy. Kona wavy. Yeah, that's the car you see on wavy. Nili bayo gari because nili penda from the video prison nili ona nikiwa less. Yeah. Because I was in, uh, I don't know, primary school or something. So, iyo, of all the, then nika, ujanga nika uzanga, nili uzanga range time vayi nki nunwa kiwanja. Ni, nika nunwa kiwanja plani na uko yu nini. Wajayu nwa katisa nika inikaanza kuwele wa mambo ya viwanja. Yeah. Uh, nili kwa nasikanga, unajua, funny enough, obina, Mtuwa kikwambia range ni 5 million. Unaona? Ni 5 million si mingi. Lakini mtuwa kikwambia kiwanja ni 1.5 million. Yo! Kwa like, kaiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiii
Ano gidi gidi ni jirani yangu. Oh gidi eh gidi ni jirani. Gidi ni jirani yangu manzi. Ghost ghost pia was the ghost now yeah. ghost eh ghost alikuwa hapo hivi. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta hydrate bro. You gotta hydrate, hydrate my brother so tuka tuka nini hivyo tukarudi tukauza range nikaanza nga kufikiria sasa <coughs> excuse me story ya kiwanja na ndio nika develop hiyo interest na kutaka kujenga ni nikaanza ku try ku learn hizi story za kujenga ni aje because in mostly unaja sio sana ni tunasema nga mimi kipata pesa na buy apartment kilimani now when you go to nigeria you see how rude boys live in You cannot achieve that in uh, an apartment in Kilimani. Yeah. Na mimi bro mimi nataka kuishi hiyo life manze. Si, Then apartment in Kilimani now maybe 11 million. Yeah. Bro, maybe 11, 15 million. That, that should probably 20 million right now. Yeah. 20 That's million. A, a two yeah. bed 11. Yeah. Three yeah. bed 20 18 yeah. and with that amount. Na ni plot tu. Yeah. Ni kwa wenyewe uko huko kwa neighbor zuru. Rudisha volume chini. But with that amount na uko kwa mogoda mahali. Yeah, iko ina plan. Naweka beast. So nika tukarudi tukaanza ku nini nika and i realized because pia kitambo hata tukikuwa tuko hiyo story ya magari because in, like, magari imeshikana straight na bado ya property yani you know? yeah. i used to wait i used to think uh, we, we as artists think that we are going to get 20 million that's true we think we are going to get uh, 15 million yep so sometimes you are making uh, at <coughs> 300,000 a week you're like You blow it and you know I don't jambia. Ngine takam tu. Ngine takam kuna ka 20 lazima safu kama ni take 20 million flani. Niko na ka feeling flani. Niko shaka hiyo ndo ndano nosha. Ndo ndano sasa shake. Eh. Haikuji, hakuna. It's no common brother. Ni kushikanisha. In the industry ni kushikanisha. 20k and then I re- it reminded me the concept when nilipa bro wangu gari ya kwanza 10k 15. Like some that's how you that's how you achieve yeah. a, a, a house, you know, a house of your own. And then covid happened. So covid ilipofanyika ito stuwa sana manze una unaogopa kuna familia unasema kitu ikienda mbaya yeah what Man. next na the biggest security you can never have for your family is a home oh, yep. so aside from the fact that tunataka ku stand kama rude boy nini nini i was just looking at my kids i'm um, looking at my wife i'm like i need to secure these people if anything happens to me god forbid uh, i need to know that they're in uh, imewaacha kwa makao yani hata Unajua kwa nyumba hata unaweza kula sukuma mbona lala nja nja kwanza utalala juu hapo nyumba si unaweza panda tu sukuma na sukuma yeah na sosi hapo hivi una nini so hiyo ndo ilifanya nika started eh nikaanza nikaanza kujenga na nikajenga tu na tutu marupu rupu tutu tunapata kwa mashow hiyo that house is huge juzi nilitokea nikaambia say ni aje guys artist let me advise you you need to pay stop waiting for the lump sum amount it's not coming use the, the little that you have to establish yourself eh what wewe unaambia watu sinunue gari wewe na huko na magari wewe sio unaambia of course eh wewe bubu wewe umejuaje pia zinataka gari nini una wewe unatuambia hivyo na wewe unaenda sa gari wewe unaenda sa jima ama unaenda sa vitu unajua yeah yeah so ah nika but i was just trying to give them game if i had known this kitambo then i would have it's something that unajua but you live and you learn and me mi sasa ni kama pioneer kwa the new generation. Wana nafanya sisi tunaangalia tu kama Jerry Dubis. Yeah. Kuna watu sawa mikoa mwana niangalia calligraphy hivyo unaona. So I'm trying to give them game and knowledge. You see wa ndo bro ni bro mi mi stuck yani naomba ngatu Mungu yani unaona not to say the yani shout out to akina Mustafa yani unajua. Yeah. At some point they were here and then you see the guy working at Mjengo yani na ina inauma yani kitu kama hiyo. Na utaki kujipata hapo unaona so hiyo unapatia game na the little that you have kwanza wakati fulani ubina na kumbia nakumbuka nikupiga simu nikakwambia nilikuwa na feel kama tunaweza shika na wasanii kadhaa tuweke pesa yetu pamoja yep twende tukanunue kiwanja mahali kama we had that idea eh, we had that wasani idea wasanii wa eh, tukaenda tukachukue mahali tununue alafu tu develop hiyo area kama yes uh, Beverly Hills yetu ya wasanii yep but of course your concept ilikuwa ni mbonoko kwa watu so mimi kabidi me develop yangu peke yangu yani yeah they like unataka kujanganya pesa sio nini so ni hivyo tu hiyo kidogo kidogo na bambanya bambanya bro and funny enough if i was in building ama nini hiyo pesa ungekuwa nayo because pesa ya mziki pia buda ni pesa imerogwa ai ai pesa ya mziki imerogwa inaingia leo hivi yani inaingia na inaenda kesho ukiamuka guy imeenda si nilikuwa hapa na 
What happened? Ah, in person amziki imeenda. Kama uko na mali unaweza pata urushe kwa project fulani. Chukua urushe hapo. Because when you na disappear in the thin air, you don't even know. Before you realize it unaongoja show nyingine upigiwe simu. Yeah. What if they do, what if covid happens they, they again? Don't they don't call. Yeah, or something even worse than yeah. covid. Na pia another thing. Wasanii lisa kusema wasanii wa invest kwa brand. Wewe kwa tu unaonekana 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 huko kila mtu. Sema tu if you want to talk to Eric Omondi, talk to Eric uh, Omondi uh, directly. Uh, he's fighting. <laughs> uh, Eric Omondi is fighting for a good cause right now and I'm in support of what he's doing. Sasa hivi ni in solidarity na nini? Yeah. Na pendo kitu. Sasa yame ame ni kama ame discover ile wakati nyingine alikuwa madogo za nyu anafanya mavitu zake yani ana yeah. vast jima nini lakini sasa hii I mean he's my neighbor by the way. Yeah. Uh, so I made you discover na napenda hiki tunadai sema kwa more serious yani. Amekuwa activist. Eh amekuwa activist na tuna support hiyo manzi. Tunaenda kuwekewa mkono. But yeah that's that. Yeah. Yeah. So wasanii yeah. wache kuzurura ovyo ovyo. Ni kuonekana yani huwezi kwa tu. Sasa sasa club ile club inataka ikulipe ukuje uperform ukakunywa hapo hapo. Umeshakunywa hapo umeshaona. Umelewa maku na tukana wita. Tunataka na atakuita hapo perform. Alafu ukiona ukiona watu wengine wanaitwa wanaanza kusema ti kuna katel katel inapendelea watu hakuna katel inapendelea watu ni wewe unazurura sana unaonekana kila mahali na you don't carry yourself as a as a as a brand as a brand yeah you need to when when ni morio mzee na joni kienda na ninda pata nangana nani huko unataka una kwa dabi buda kaka kwa kama kama ni hivyo sasa sasa kaka kwa nyumba kaka wako mzee kaka wako acha kuzurura sharpen your skills by the way i saw something you did with uh um Kantai. Mm. Bro that was dope. Maybe dope. they might not have told you but it's dope because personally I tried to do it a couple of people in the industry mm. but sometimes you just get a point you're like ah we pambana too much because sometimes you're trying to help a couple of people they are not helpable. Ama washafika point washa throw in the towel. Mm. So you're fighting for people and you're just like yo. Yeah. Too, too much man so uh, but good stuff what you did you had good intentions about uh, it did, and I good did stuff what, what you did could, for yeah. Kanteda Kanteda was mm. also among the people that shaped our he did, growth he and did, he, he did. was mad talented especially for me he did yeah yeah, mm. yeah. so mad also Chihuahua I've seen also Chihuahua, you yeah, try to uh, uh, throw a lifeline yeah, good stuff on that yeah but mm. now you're a father man good stuff I see when you're in the house I'm like ah who's the OG <laughs> <laughs> when you're there the kids are sitting on you this side i'm like yo i'm like now people see a different side how is that coming along being a father nabamba inabamba tu watu wao wanafanyanga something like you guys don't know i'm the og yani tu unaangalia tu but do they know their father is a superstar hawajali hawatambui hiyo kuna lala unamwagiliwa yani una yani mambo you do something <laughs> see always like you it's, it's a, it's a we we pray we pray for the best of course yeah uh my kids all uh any we just pray we are hoping that mambo it mambo to equal to sir yeah mm. all right good good stuff good stuff putting in the measures for the kids being a present father mm. good stuff i always comment most of the celebrity mm. friends of mine who are good parents me always and the ones who are dead bitter most tell me yo buda Mimi ni sikuko na mtu hii place fulani hebu changamka. Na kuongelea changa kwa simu hata mara mingi sana jua mambo mambo mingi so unajua. Yeah. But always like so if you are present father man I'm always like you you have to be and I'll tell all the celebrity friends. Unajua mimi ni kelea yo mimba bro just do a DNA. Bro don't let your child suffer because of ignorance. I I we always have sometimes you can have you know a lot to say. Yeah. But uh because uh of the way the society is shaped uh mambo inakuja inakuwa mingi uh but we always for me i pray for god's guidance yeah and very many as cuz bro when I, i i i live for my for my children my kids so we pray for mambo tu inakuanga mingi in other areas but we yeah. try as much as we can It's, it's not easy mm, bro as a parent easy, yeah, it's yeah, not easy know. we especially mm. men i know women also as parents they go through a lot but mm. also men go through silent battles yeah. you can't talk to nobody you can't whatever the the society is ready to crucify you yeah. for whatever mm. reasons you're trying to be a present father mm. this other th- the math is not mathin mm. sometimes you find as a father uh, the child has a bitter mother mm. 
sometimes you find as a mother, the child has a deadbeat father. Yeah. There's always just some things, but just try. It's but not they, easy. Uh, we, I am, I am, you <coughs> I'm going to be very honest with you, you can see actual deadbeat fathers because on a patia, I don't want to find when Guinea wale wana a present, eh, wana, they are judged with them. Eh, wana they are judged with them as well. Yeah, no, no. So, uh, bro, I tell you this. Mimi at no point, at no point, and <laughs> God knows, Buddha. Mi venye niko venye ni reiziwa. Watu yuangu lazima ni wangali. I got four kids. My wife right now, very beautiful wife. Sana ni angali anga vizuri and pikia. Three and um, one from a previous relationship. So I try as much as I can with the maximum of my abilities to ensure that um, everybody is taken care of. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Good stuff. Don't stop, bro. Yeah. Don't stop. Mm. Yes, yes. I also have three kids. It's tough. <laughs> I have four kids. It's tough. And I'm not yeah. stopping, bro. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> Yeah, so we don't stop. We thank God. We, we thank, thank God, God. So, yeah, we thank yeah. God, but bro. for the young guys, this is what I always say: mm. strap up, bro. Talk and our total work will become a baby. Because the minute the child is involved, your life stops. The mm. life of the child begins, and you have to man up, take care of your responsibility. Mm. Now, in conclusion, new stuff dropping, heart coming through. What are we expecting? How is the immediate future? You know, we're going to say, oh, no, the next five years. Ah, ah, ah. The immediate. You can show next week when you're shock na kitu. I told you, I made a drop video, actually. Uh -huh. I dropped a new video today, Flea. Flea video. Flea, oh, Flea uh, video. Uh, Flea, uh, Flea, uh, Flea, I made a drop video, actually. Oh, okay. I shot that video almost two years ago. I made a stay true. Yeah, I want to check it out. We released it. We released it today. Uh, of course, minimal pressure came at barely two weeks ago. Yeah. I'm working uh, on two more songs before the year ends because I've already started working on another album. Uh, Wait, for the rest of the year? But how many months to go? August. September, October, November, December. Yeah. I plus probably collaborations. Oh, okay. But I have joints in the can. I got hits in the can. You can use that. Uh, in, 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 hits in the can. God, he's in the can, you bro. You know what that means? <laughs> <laughs> Those are hits now. Those are hits, right? Uh, joints in the can. They're <laughs> finna blow up anyway. Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, it's gonna, I, I, I'm working, of course, and um, doing videos. Yeah. Um, trying to work with people. I believe, in, I always believe in collaborations, by the way. Uh, as much as I do solo projects, and I believe in color. Kwanza ni likuanga na idea ata before tunini. Ndi fikiria. Imagine all the A-list artists in Kenya and even the B whatever to kwe kwa group moja. Calligraphers ato yengoma na na nani? Who? Worried what they say. So me calligrapher ato yengoma na Nyashinsky. Kaka ato yengoma na Penagitu, uh, Ninin. Yani, we have all these collaborations. We do all these songs like in in Tuzishikili Azot and after Tuanze Kuzitoa. In a span of like two two months, we're releasing these songs back to back. Kenyan music. Yani, oh, uh -huh. That shit can take over. On YouTube, Zile Wala Wasome Katakutoka Pale Ju. But I talk immediately. That is the only thing that can get yeah, rid of those people. You have my bro in as a qua. If we get that kind of unification, and you people are now working, because that's the only way. If you're talking about YouTube and now taking over YouTube, yeah. And uh, even uh, other digital platforms, Spotify, Nini. If you want to, be, that's I think that's how we can achieve that, because Diamond is working with Juma Dukes. My guy. Uh, and. Uh, Lava Lava, Lava Lava, Ivani, then Nigeria, guys, and Abata, Oxford, Nani. So these guys are working together. Yeah. So if we if we do that to get to for the next two months, you're putting in work together. To nenda tunashutuma tunah 
tutoa do tunashuti ma video noma noma hata kama ni South Africa or whatever hata actually no here nataka tu shoot video hapa hivi na tupatie directors wetu budget mzuri yeah. pia watu wa build eh yeah. unaona sija director tu apatie budget fiti yeah. tu wa build bro in two months tufanye kitu kama hiyo bro for the rest of the year Rap. It's a rap, bro. That's uh, it's in the can. That's, that's, that's just me, man. That's, that's just me. No, it's a dope yeah. idea. Yeah, yeah, but exactly. Kenyan artist ni nani? I think uh, to, I think uh, Kenyan artist you just have to wame, start. Wame, wame pitia mambo mingi. Unajua pia tumetukanwa sana. Sasa zingine? Bro, hiyo motivation hata motivation ndani inaenda ni sim. Tumetukanwa sana. Tumepitia mambo mingi. So sometimes you also need to cut them some slack. Unaona? Yeah. But uh, If that happens then that we can now take over bro after here. Done deal. Ndio. Ah yeah. Now uh oh I'm done Lizard but for how long? <laughs> Flick or dope. Mm. Yeah, okay, OG much respect. All round sweetness <laughs> shall be your portion. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, tell OG do something with Mbithi. Guys respect the OG or Molo gang villa in afar. Okay. Okay. Okay, what's the matter? Tusi siati inje bro. No, I, I don't pay attention to negativity. We move on the positive vibe. This guy is good-hearted and like how I thought before I met him recently in Dubai. So it also became tragic we lost our DJ. By the this story about the DJ, what happened? I saw DJ Babu. It's called uh, DJ, DJ Babu. Babu. I saw guys yeah. someone say you guys didn't go for the funeral nini. Uh, what's up and, with that? And uh Liliana the uh, some trainer from dubai i think ali uh, talk we did not attend babu's yeah you, know. you are the last one actually to perform uh, to perform yeah before yeah uh it was an unfortunate incident uh, accident that happened i uh, the same exact day mimi nime like nime endelea dubai on a friday i performed and then i left the club i went back to the hotel yeah and nini i to be to be To be honest with you nobody supplied me with any information about the funeral uh, the funeral no no nobody okay. told me nothing about that now pia uh i don't i didn't i didn't know babu like i mean i only knew babu nili put on babu that day peke yake no no so babu wasn't at he your boy uh, he wasn't my boy business. like that no no so i need to show because alikuwa naongea na francis and i only met him for like i don't know 30 minutes then nini so simjui like i don't know him like that but of course to lose bro yetu ni jamaa tunafanya kazi na yeye na the unfortunate happened unaona and we i really felt for that like i felt for the for the family and everybody but to be fair to me yani hata ukiuliza people nobody knew me nili wanakuja kwa na tuko i think Nairobi gossip yeah they were the ones who were posting about the funeral like like kwani they already brought the body body in yeah. was the last time i checked body like kwa bado nini so i we, we are, i didn't have that information of course mimi kama og um and i paid my respect even on my my instagram i put up a post i'm like yeah man nini nini but i didn't know him like that no na see okay. see babu kwa ngati best yangu as such for for the guy i think the guy was out of pocket kuanza ku call out watu ati eh nani akuenda he had a lot of celebrity friends we were colleagues we did uh, nini together but unfortunately siku attend siku jua lakini pia tena siku anamjua hivyo but okay. if i had known ningejaribu kama ningepata chance unajua you do you do what you do eh yeah, okay. but rest in peace to babu ile time nilikutana naye kidogo nikamjua ni mtu aliona ni raw safi um alitreat poor then the next uh, even though the next day yani i think my manager is actually the one who raised the alarm that uh, we can't find uh, babu because tulikuwa kwa hotel na they are, you know, of course when you're out there there are things you know promote ameleta na huko so there are things that need to be nini catered for yani kama mtu amekuleta and we couldn't find him there are very many even in dubai there are very many things which you had to get to slide the yani, because of your incident ukasema ah francis you mefanyika hata vitu zingine ma, ma babu are you go anymore na pia itakuwa ni tutaka watu tutaka watu wabaya or oh, it happened while you're still in I dubai i was in dubai unaona eh so nini so ni, balance babu rest in peace babu i don't want to talk about that but okay. yani 
it doesn't matter, and you know, you yeah. So I think some people they'll come out and they'll start saying stuff. Once you your your German Leona actually clicked on his bio. Your German Leona on gave on the corner like. I, no, no. At first, I could understand where he was coming from. Probably come up and understand the situation. But when you click, you can see that you can see that stories can see that sharing. Like, you can see blogs you can see that 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 you can that that man. It's a sad situation. I feel for the family. We didn't get a chance to pull up, yani, but Babu, where he is, he knows, man. He knows what it is. Okay. Mm. Bro, you need to consider doing a song also with Prince in Babu. Mm -hmm. But we already did. What do you mean? Do another one. No, do another one. You know what's good? That one fire song? Two. Where can you go to studio there? I'm at a foot of Musa Jakadala. Fanya na Samido. Fanya ingine na Maima. Mm. Yeah, he crossed the boundaries, bro. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ah, we, we focus. <laughs> focus, man. Ah, yeah. So, um, in conclusion, there's a guy who's watching now, a young G somewhere, who's looking up to you. They want to be like you. Probably they're going through something or they're, they're struggling through life. Um. Please talk to them, man. They listen to you. They're your people. <sighs> Encourage them, inspire them, motivate them, challenge them. Uh... Yeah, man. Like, you guys, you know my story. Um, if they can criticize me all they want, but they don't know my story. But now you know my story, yeah. Take yeah. uh, it to a Nanga shortcut. I think I feel like I've been repeating myself, but I'm just going to tell you straight up. I'm in a shortcut in Ataka Perseverance. I love you. Uh, the biggest lesson I learned, of course, about the need, lower your expectations. Nobody owes you anything. You see, feel like kunawatu wana kuokitu at yeah. Nobody owes you any. Nobody owes you no opportunity. Ni bidi yako ndi itafanya opportunities itakuja saidi yako. And if you're not working hard, I'm very sorry to say this to you or break or bust your bubble. It's not going to work out. Mimi, na, like I said, I believe in prayer. I know there are people on the other side now talk on a different religions or, or private or wengine ni amini kwa mungu me I believe in putting God first yeah and um, na, na patience I say trust the process don't rush the process trust it and you trust it and everything is gonna fall into place so everything yeah trust the process right. don't rush the process there you go that's what's up mm. Thank you so much for being with us tonight. Thank you so much, my brother, for coming. Yeah. Bro, we've spoken like it's like we're catching up on life. Hey. <laughs> it's like when you normally meet offline, you're like, yeah. hey, bro, by the way, you remember? <laughs> yeah. So thank you so much for coming through. Thank you so much for the inspiration mm. and the conversation we've had. I can't thank you enough. Asante sana. Thank you for having me, bro. Yeah. Mm. And for the fans, Asante sana. Go check the new video is out. I'm going to watch it immediately after this. I'll go like, yo, I have those moments. And keep streaming the album as well on all streaming platforms. Comment, like, subscribe. Tell us which other person you want us to host over here because this show, Obina Show Live, is all about inspiration. I'll see you guys next time. We're out. Tomorrow, we have that Yoen. Right. See ya.